do that, uh, actually. Well, actually, if you manage to do it, you uh, will more than likely get banned. Oh. I saw an article about that. People uh, risking lifetime it, yeah. bans. <laughs> yeah. I, I and uh, I've got like three on my friends list already playing it, and I told them, like, you might want to be careful. I don't I really... care about anything that much. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, I can wait three hours, especially since I have nine days of paid time now. Nice. Could the Did the tone of my voice, like, clearly tell you that I was rubbing my nipples right there? <laughs> oh, it totally did. You had yeah. like the, at all the first, like, a Comcast customer care yep. support <laughs> person service, put yeah. those nips out. How, how, how much would it bum them out? Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, oh, guess you're, oh, that's guess you're too gonna have bad. to go switch service to another provider. Oh, oh wait, wait, that's we're right. In, are we? <laughs> carve penguins from ice with those things. Oh, bummer. <laughs> so good. I haven't watched a lot of South Park lately, but. It's, like, it's apparently I don't know, like, pretty good this season. That's what yeah. I've heard. Every once in a while, the old magic comes back. The old magic. So it's I wanted to go ahead and show this to everybody because <clears throat> this is the alchemist. We can tell that he's equipped with a health potion, a magic potion, and probably a poison. And what and no, some that, dye that, for his cloak. Wait, no, let that me purple, see. That purple is probably a mix of the orange and the blue. So it's a health mana potion. Show me. It's a regeneration oh. potion, guys. Just That's the color called, of right? his attacks and shit. I think they all like change the color of his outfit. I mean, Red think... potion! Everyone fucking stop! Right the fuck now! I mean, he's got some pretty uh, exotic colors. I mean, that's that's an expensive robe. I mean. We probably made it with magic. Purple, purple, purple. dyes. Hard to yeah. He's an alchemist. He's not a sorcerer. He's not a tailor. You can't just craft a potion of great cloak. How do you know? You ever seen fucking Piccolo? Clothes beam! Well, dude, if I can do that, that's the most amazing thing. There is actually a spell called... Um, Poof. Uh, what is it Underwear. called? There's, there, is a, there is a spell that you can cast where you point at a suit of armor and then point at a person, and they are immediately donned in that piece of armor. Does it just, like, come alive and just, like, yeah. rumble over, like... <laughs> and just, like, Get fuck, inside me! Like, no! No! The armor just like eats them inside of it. <laughs> it's like yeah. I'll well, you the now. point of it is like if you have a heavy armor user in the party, they have to take off their armor before they can sleep, or they'll get fatigued the next day. So <laughs> you use that spell to just like put their armor on them when you get into combat, because it's faster. Huh. Yeah, donning usually you takes like ten rounds. Out of it. Yeah, oh, donning. Like, be, though. Donning like, takes you just forever. Hear... You hear, like, a fucking dragon in the middle of the night, and the warrior just, like, grabs his sword and starts running at him, like, in a fucking, like, white heart boxers. That would be the barbarian. And, like, he's, like, ah, like, charging at him. And it's, like, as he's running, the, the arm is just, like, fum, fum, like Iron Man. He's attaching yeah. <laughs> itself to his body. By the time he actually gets to the dragon, he's fully suited up. And then is immediately eaten. Yeah, Squares and then gets one shot. <laughs> just gets fucking roasted. So where we last last left off, you have a dying bird and your dad is dying in the back of your cart. Mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, when we last left off, you guys had found Jama Shrew very sick in the marsh. And you had gone at his request to find a um, mutant creature, which you did and you barely lived. And now Carrick has um, an unknown disease or ailment. Um... By barely lived, you mean we failed upwards, right? Yes. That, uh, yes, last week was completely that. That's all it was. Like, we didn't do anything well. We basically, there... like, that combat was the worst no, fucking no. shit ever. Isn't there some good part about it? I mean, no one yeah, died. <laughs> and yeah. death, um, okay. death isn't even that big a deal in Pathfinder anyway. I mean, but... we didn't die, but that doesn't mean we did anything well. 
Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Like I can I can trip my way. entire way downstairs and still make it successfully I think, downstairs. I, uh, I think the stairs did about as much damage to us as the monster did. <laughs> it was it was it was pretty bad. <laughs> Just like I almost got killed by the stair boss. I think I went yeah. somersault past the monster and he like uppercutted me and into like the stairs and I broke my neck immediately. <laughs> Fucking out. And Gary does the same thing, ends up getting clawed. <laughs> Pretty much. And, and now I'm no fucking good. dying of a disease. Yes. Okay. Anyways, um, are we starting? He had no legs. I'm curious, I... Derby. Did we start? Did we, like last time? Did I like have my spells for today and like treat them with restoration, or was that like? You did. Um, as you I did. recall, yes. You okay. used all of your available spells to try to treat Jamash, who was farther along, and then you used a, one, I think, for Kirik. You also gave okay. me all of your gold. It was really strange. Uh, yeah, totally didn't. Happen. You were a little tired at that point, so you probably don't remember. But that did—that was canon now. I'm gonna so. point out that uh, you're always gonna be more tired than me. <laughs> always. Well, that's probably true. Yeah, but I drink coffee, man. Just not on Mondays. Anyway, let's go. Um, and on, I, on the way I will to... say that when you guys camped that night, Ardana was very, very quiet. She's she get attacked? Clearly distraught. Well, yeah, it's because... Does she think I'm feeling good? She thinks her sister is with that alchemist. I don't remember why she thinks that. Cause but she's that's firmly all convinced that. Point to it. All the signs point to that. What signs? The oracle the letter told us, received... and then the letter. The oracle yeah. Told... yeah. Well, the oracle said that her sister was going to be in trouble, and that uh, your Jama. And apparently, she thought it too. Apparently, uh, Kari thought it too. Remember way back in Sylvanas, fucking like two months ago when we were playing this, and she thought something terrible is going to happen. I was like, probably not. I failed with a fucking nat one on a bluff. Yeah, but how does that point to the alchemist? Also, Something the letter terrible. that we received from uh, the mayor's was that um, uh, Kari was kidnapped. Oh, I didn't read the same that. Same guy there. Right, so, could remember. Well, yeah, they shared I know books. we have it, but I thought they didn't want us to read it. They did eventually no, share it with it. you. Oh. Basically, the important paragraph is, um, my agents reported that someone was spotted journeying east into the marshes just north of Urganost with a body draped over a horse. This, unfortunately, is the opposite direction of where we thought they were headed. So that, in conjunction with what the Oracle told us about your dad hunting... Gotcha. Um, whatever his name is, the evil alchemist. Oh, okay. So they're clearly connecting the dots here. Like, they basically said, oh, it's Kari, and she's being taken by the alchemist. Yep. Okay. So we're on our way to Ergonost. I don't give a fuck about her. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> well, we were also told that she might, if not already, become evil. That Kari will? Possibly. Okay. Doesn't make me like her more. <laughs> it also, doesn't really make me like her less. Don't, don't. Still ambivalent. Apathetic. Okay. So edgy. Okay. Um. So last you guys knew. Um. Okay. I guess that's for me particularly. So I, I know what Jamash's con is at. He's doing pretty well. Um. Kirik had a headache. And Elethys used restoration on him. Cycle was like two fifths of the way through making an anti plague, I think. Mm hmm. So when you guys camp tonight, if you want to spend some hours working on that, you may. Great. Where's my char fucking character at? Is he gone? Shit. Yeah, I ate him. You son of a Nice. There we go. Uh, anti plague.
Uh, with a 31, you finish. Finished. Okay. Okay, dokie. Now I'm back. That was the weirdest right, shit in the nice. world. Yeah. So, I finished Anti Plague. Yep. Um, and that'll cost you 25 gold, I think. I already did it, I think. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, we should do knowledge geography to figure out where to go. Oh, yeah, I'd do it again. Yes. Since we only got so far the last time. Yeah, Ardana remains very quiet throughout the evening. Okay. Um, with that, you believe that if you follow this trail along the edge of the lake, um, that it will become less marshy and more grasslands. Um, if you follow this way, it'll be more marshy on the way to Ergonost, but it is shorter. I say we go to mm. grasslands way, because I'm not all about it. Uh, the grasslands will probably be easier as there'll be less stuff. Remember what happened before when we were on yeah. our way there? And we have two sick people, and I have to use all of my spells so that I have to keep yeah. them alive. So, or yeah, it was, like half it was my spells. Shit. All right, I'm going to give. Um, so, only that was for one dose of anti -blood. Yeah, and don't give it to anyone because it only like gives them extra chance to make saves. It's only but they saves, can't. and there's, yeah, there's oh, only that's one save right. for this disease. So, there's um, no point. Speaking of that, Darf, I had a question, because on the heal thing for treat disease, um, it says that the next time, so every time a disease character makes a saving throw against disease effects, so does that mean that every time a disease has like a new effect that it tries to apply to you, that you get an extra saving throw against that effect? Certain diseases have saving throws every time the effect occurs, so... Sometimes, if you have a disease, you can roll a fort save to prevent yourself from like losing con or losing strength. Um, this disease is not one of them. You get a save up front, and then you just kind of waste away and until you get die. help. We okay. don't know what disease this is. Not currently. I okay. have a solution to this. Honestly, just sounds like typhus, but... Okay, so Y'all got clap. I've seen it. I've seen it many times. Um, my, so let's see. This my... is a we're on a brand new day now, traveling. So yes. I see my, the safe path. So I'm not all about fucking around in, in marshes I'm and cool. shit. With I'm you cool. I'm cool with grasslands as well. Uh, I guess we should put it to a vote though. So all in I favor, say aye. Grasslands. grasslands. Aye. Yes. There we go. Sick boy. The eyes have it. Yeah, you don't get a choice, you're sick. Okay, let's do the grassland. While we're on our way, I'm going to cast Diagnose Disease on Jamish. Okay. Look at you. Yep. I have to use slots of level 2 and level 3 slots for restoration, but this is a level 1 spell, yeah. Okay, determine whether a creature, object, or area carries any sort of disease or infestation. Wow. Or any exceptional or supernatural effects causing sickened or nauseated effects. If there is a disease present, you know what disease it is and its effects. If the creature, if the target is a creature, you gain a plus four heal check to cure the creature's disease, or to check the creature's disease, blah, blah, blah. I like that spell. So you just know? I just know what the disease is. What it is and everything about it. Yep. It's basically Pathfinder Google. Pathfinder <laughs> WebMD. Yeah, it's WebMD. Yeah. It's cancer. It's cancer. Oh no, Kirik, I've just looked up your symptoms and it seems you have network connectivity problems. I love that. Fucking fucking Fox and I love that. Okay, was, so I'm going to move uh... our token, the grassland place? Yes. Yeah. 
So along the way, Ardana just sort of sits at the back of the wagon with her feet dangling off, and she just stares at the road behind you. Ardana, what's what's going on? She's she, worried. She sort of looks over her shoulder at you, and then looks down at the wagon, and then looks back at the road, and says, I may never see my sister again. Yeah. I might not make it to Ergonost. Something tells me you wouldn't have said that Everybody's so Everybody's got problems. Oh, don't be so selfish, Kirk. She just seems to slump a little bit more at Kirk's comments. Wait, so is this Zuzu disease like actually cancer? Whisper. Is what now? Is this disease is some heartless shit. actually cancer? No, I'm coming up with the name as we speak. Okay. So you weren't supposed you to know it. Name for it. No. I look at Zuzu and whisper, you know, some maybe somebody uh, that actually cares about other people should talk to her. Ah. Uh. Yes, yes. I care about I care. Everybody. I just had a shit week. Yeah, but you're also dying. I'm... You're, you're dying I, and I, that's generally pretty selfish. Week. Generally, you're kind of, like, self-centered. It's like, oh... Yeah. I, on me. a good day, I could maybe I muster a fuck, but my dad's dying in the back of a wagon. Uh, I got bigger problems. Death is a part of life. I don't really care about Kari's life. I rolled situation, 22 geography it again. God, you don't have to roll anything to just know the effects. No, nope, the I just fuck? know everything about <laughs> the disease. Google! And you know what's funny? Uh, if I was wearing a thin sheet of lead, it apparently is like a fucking x-ray, and I just block it. <laughs> yeah, apparently magic is radiation. I cast CAT scan. <laughs> it's basically... That's basically what this is. Okay, well, I go over and sit by Erdana and ask her, is there anything I can do to ease your suffering or sorrow of possibly losing your sister? Would you like some drugs? No drugs. She firmly Good grips. Drug. You can see, like, she's got, like, white knuckles because she's grabbing the, the bottom of the wagon so firmly. And... She just says, I'm not sure there's much that could be done other than revenge. Revenge for the person who might have taken, or like, might have turned your sister? We don't know all those facts yet. Maybe we should suggest that we don't actually know what happened to Kara yet. Right, there's a, there's a possibility of still rescuing her. A very remote possibility. Yes, but still a possibility. She just sort of. I look down. I look down at my dad lying nonsensical in the, in the back of the wagon, and I pull aside my my coat and, and uh, show off my little array of of bombs and say, "Well, if that's true, then we'll get revenge together." Oh, I gladly sit up and say, "If I do survive this, I'm going to be the first person to shove this." And I pull out night kiss between his ribcage. And I'll lie back down and go to sleep. <laughs> um, Kari kind of turns sleep. over and looks at you guys and, and just smiles. And like, well, I appreciate your passion, but I should be the one to kill him. It'll be a race then. So long as he dies is all that matter. He's messing with the natural balance of things. It's Don't not worry, you'll use your magic continue. whip on him, Elithus. I want you guys to know that I'm, I'm listening to you, and I hear you, and I agree. We kill him as soon as we learn everything that I can. I glare at Cyclonus, like if you dare attempt to further his works, our friendship is over. Famous last words. Okay, so I Google Maps... Our way with a 22. Okay. Um, you guys need to camp for the night here, though. Okay. Yeah, so at campsite, let's do a survival roll. I guess I should have done the survival roll. Damn it. No, no! Listen, Alethys, you wouldn't want a kick-ass golem or some kind of flesh zombie on our team. I'm just saying, we don't have a tank anymore. And from this experience, we all learned none of us are good at taking damage. Hey now. <laughs> I'm okay at taking damage, though. Right. 
I look for a place to sleep for the night. Are you sure? I thought we all clusterfucked that. Might have, okay. but my health is pretty bamf. What's your health? 60? Wow! Of course what the is. fuck? Were you rolling 20s to determine your HP? <laughs> what happened? I'm the fighter, and I'm a 52. Yeah, or, I'm no, 41. I'm the other fighter, and I'm a 52. I'm the guy... I got 33 the health, and I'm pretty sure I'm the lowest in the party, so... Mm -hmm. Yep. You to squishy. Okay, so we camp for the night. Out. Just rolled pretty well, is all I can say. Yeah, you guys find a campsite yeah. that's pretty close to the edge of the lake, actually. So you think you could probably bathe and have drinking water and that kind of thing. We always have drinking water. Um, yeah. Well, but like, fresh spring water, man. Yeah. Not I guess water. Not... You don't like my magic water? I like your magic water. Oh, yeah. Say that's that what she times. says. Whatever. <laughs> Hi, Poppy. Anyways, before the before the while we are camping and resting and bathing and stuff, I cast Restoration Lester. This time I'm gonna cast twice on Kirik and twice on Jamash. Okay. So these are for Jamash, and these are for Kirik. Uh, the points they get back from. Hey, there. there you go. Any, three. any damages that they've taken to their okay. abilities. So it does con damage, so Cure Light Wounds doesn't do anything for them. Correct. And since okay. we've been attending them, I'm pretty sure they would have healed any like damage that they take. Right, like yeah. any temporary damage. I uh, I whip up a couple of batches of polypurpose panacea and... Uh, and... And offer and give some to my dad to anesthetize him and offer some to Kirik. I don't need it. I'm not at that point yet. Just you wanna get keep high? it for now. Well, do you have a headache? Because it, it can help you with your headache. It's been do feeling it, a little fussy. Don't it, do it's brother. really good. It's no. really good for headaches and Is it crippling drug addiction. It's Is real it good for flavored? it. It's my cataracts. I mean, you're not Zuzu saying it's can make it flavored. any. It's raspberry. Maybe you can make it raspberry. Yeah, Actually, no. But, uh, nope. but I don't approve Psycho of drugs. You don't? Why not? I don't know. Well, legalize I don't... it, Zuzu. I mean, Xanthum. I, I legalize can't legalize it. it. It's probably my mom. That, well, no. I don't know who would legalize it. You are lawful good, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're... Is, that's that's correct, RP. Then. Is ma what? magic hash intrinsically bad? I sure could be. I mean, if it has beneficial effects and I mean what if you, wouldn't side alcohol. you wouldn't ban morph there are no side effects to polypurpose energy that's no one of the perfect like, there are some oh Ooh. but it depends it how you awesome use it it's polypurpose so it depends which purpose you use it for. like if you use it to what is it? anesthetic is um, how we'd be using it here Elephus, did you get my whisper about the disease yes come on xanthan don't be such an ethereal do i know these symptoms like, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, I'm pretty sure I should. Or is like what you've said there basically the symptoms of it? Yeah. Okay. So, so like so. just logical symptoms related to that effect. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm well, not gonna share what's happening to everyone with them, for. Not wanting to make them afraid. Okay, so does that mean that once you learn what it is, you have to take a bluff check to say that you don't know what it is? Because no, I, totally I know what ask it is. You, about... you might want to ask me about it, but so uh, Elvis, can you tell what's going on with my dad? <laughs> the disease they have is changing the way their bodies are. It's it's gonna affect your dad differently than Carrick though, because Carrick was born in the lake. With us. Better or worse. Oh. Yeah. Hard. What does that mean? What's it doing to them? It's basically gonna cause some pretty massive internal changes in their bodies. Uh, cool. Unless we can get them help. Are you saying they're gonna turn into spider people? Could you be less big? I'm not saying... <laughs> 
No, I really can't be less vague. I, I can't really Why? say much more. Why? Is it no news is good news? And I, that's all I, I feel like that's does? a bluff check right there. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> you have to do all sense motive. You have to. You have yeah. to counter motive. I'm looking for. Damn. Oh, barely. <laughs> Fucking barely. barely. <laughs> 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 yes. Yes. Yeah. Sarek no well, longer I know, questions. I know everything I need to know. This entirely <laughs> forms my outlook. You know, Druid, for one who's giving me orders about uh, using my abilities, you sure I seem to be keeping some Elipis secrets. I pull Elipis aside and next to Kirik, far away from his dad, who doesn't know the effects of the disease. You mean Cycle. I pull you and Kirik, who both sensed my motive and knew that I was lying, mm -hmm. aside and be like, Kirik has morphing sickness. Neat. And uh, I will whisper you what that does. Okay. I'm listening. Now you believed him, Seth. Yeah, you man, you bought it. Yeah, but I'm listening to the conversation. Nosy. Um, I, how would I, if if I'm whispering quietly, how would I... Stealth check, probably. Stealth yeah. check. Actually, I could just say it in Sylvan. I'm gonna say it in <laughs> Sylvan. Oh, that's, that's funny. Weird. Cause that, cause that way only Cycle and Kyrick would be able to understand me, cause nobody else speaks Sylvan. That's meta though. You don't know well, that nobody else speaks Sylvan. You're right. I don't. I'm gonna assume that if I'm just telling a secret to Kyrick and Cycle, that I would say it in Sylvan. That's fair, cause it seems like that's something that your character did when you were children, anyway. Oh yeah, that's totally fair. Mm -hmm. So I tried going. In, I tried doing a stealth check, and it. Uh... It puts an input value tab on there that I can't get rid of now. It seems normal like, for us. For like size. So you can like choose your size. That's weird. So like if you're medium, small, diminutive, or yeah. Like you, it adds it automatically. Fascinating. I don't see this. Did you whisper it already or are you I'm still... typing it out. I'm typing out what I'm going to share with you. Okay. And, um, Jonas, did you see my whisper to you? I did. Okay. I'm assuming that we would camp for the night. Yes. While well, I'm typing this out. And we have a banging ass spot. Um, and while you, while you guys are having your discussion, um, no one seems to have noticed that uh, Erdana has slipped away. What? How does no one notice? Oh, shit, I was going to all Marky get you're all to her. busy. How are we all busy? What was I doing? You're all talking about the sick people. I'm not talking about them. I'm bathing. I was sitting by Erdana the Excuse whole time. Excuse me, storyteller. Erdana slipped away and nobody saw it. Fine. <laughs> 27 perception didn't see that? Nope. He was listening with that. Yeah. And if he knows she something, he knows what's said. Into the water I've got two to, uh... Wait, is Erdana the water lady or is Kari the water lady? They're, They're both, both water ladies. Lady. Okay, but so Kari, Ardana Kari's could easily gone. have gone to have gone to bathe like the rest of us were doing, and I would imagine we would all do that kind of separately, uh, in order to not flash our naughty bits to each other, and she could have easily slipped away and doing that. Heard. No, I'm cool with it. <laughs> Just hanging loose. It's hanging loose. Drying out by the fire. Yep. We get a little weird uh, down around Thor World, you know? <laughs> yeah. Damn, so we went through all that trouble that and that girl is gone. Uh, since Meta, I don't know whether or not Tyrek speaks Sylvan, I'm going to also whisper what I said to you, uh, Darpe. 
And if he does speak Sylvan, then you can try. I like how you almost called me Chris, and then you hesitated. I did. <laughs> then you were like, Chris. you're Darth Vader. <laughs> like, no. Yeah. I'll, I'll you're, go not, ahead. you're not, you're not, you're not Chris. Well, I will not speak to you by your slave name. I, I haven't established <laughs> uh, what uh, languages he speaks, so I, I, I don't hear what you say. Okay. So does a 16 make me realize that Erdan is gone? You guys realize it um, toward the end of the evening when you start um, setting up like a campfire and stuff. Well, we lost you. Hmm. I'm going to look for tracks. Also, uh, I guys, I got to say, so are we debating this now? We all know where Donna's gone. Yeah, you notice that she's missing. I tell Elephus he needs to come back because uh, we. It, it doesn't matter that she went away. We have to get my father to Ergonost, and I need you to keep him, keep healing him and Kirik. You have a point. I second that. I figured we went through all the trouble to save her, and now she's left. So, and right now You're your father's good. No, okay, here, but your father right now is most important. So on priority I list. Agree. There triage. You go. And also, my brother. I care a lot about my brother, and I see that he's not doing well. And so, if he needs drugs, he can take drugs. I'm fine. Um. <laughs> he's not fine. Uh, you all know her better than I do. You think she would go to face the alchemist by herself? Oh yeah. No. She might. She's out. She's going crazy. She's not crazy. She's just mad. But she's not. Stupid. I mean, she's out of her senses. She's enraged. She wants revenge, and revenge never solved anything. Wait, except yeah, yeah. I don't know. It certainly would make me feel pretty good to stab someone. that guy. I don't know if revenge never solved anything. It's not the yeah. right. It's not the right choice. But this is what she would say. This is this is what it could be pretty satisfying. Let me tell you. Uh, but still, it's not right. Regardless, Deep down, it's not right. We should probably rest up for the night. We have agreed. probably a few more days before we get to Ergonost. And yeah. I don't know if Kirik and Jamash will be okay. Well, is Saver going to try to track her? Come in with us. He seemed interested in that. Did, did I? I, no, I? I thought you did. Oh, I was... Just making conversation. Oh, okay, cool. Well, in that case... She matters about as much to me as she does to you. Let's take a <laughs> nap. Alright, um, give me watches. Um, well, we kind of lost Ardana, and now we don't have really Carrick either, so we're going to have to do four no, watches. I, I'm, okay to, I'm okay to watch. I'm not being affected by it. Okay. Well... I mean, um, well, in that case, you should probably take the second shift, which I guess is your usual one, so. Yeah. I'll take me. I mean, it's not like I've gone blind or anything. Well, I don't know. At any point, you could change. Great, just blurt it out. What are you talking I about? I said that already. I'm curious, I... To me! Well, no, I said that... Zoo's right here! I understand. Yeah. Well, no, I, oh. said, I said to everyone... That the <coughs> disease causes changes. Yeah, but you didn't give me detail. Oh, I wasn't listening in. Because I don't, I don't like being you nosy. Told me adult. Before so, I pull your adult. Elvis, can you elaborate need... on what you mean by. I'll see if you passed the bluff check earlier. Oh, okay. I'll roll one. I didn't roll one. All the stuff that I said earlier was that the disease is changing you guys. Right. You didn't say. You How? didn't specifically say that it was like morphing their insides. Oh wait, did you? I think you no. did actually. I did no? not. Okay. Okay. So Xanthem gets to hear what I said too. Yes. Well, she just gets to know. Okay, so you you can tell her that. Okay. Basically, I don't want to scare your father and Kirik and Kirik past the fucking yeah. buff check. So. Right. Mm. Told you you didn't want to know. 
I say this anthem. Uh, yeah, well, is there any way that we can speed up the process of getting to a town? Like, st staying awake the whole night and traveling? Oh, There's yeah. Consequences yes, you that. can. You can do a forced march to get to a town. I feel like that would be in our best option, because once we get there, we'll have rest, we'll have people to take care of us. It'll be worth it, right? Safer to force march on If the you road. say how bad the sickness is. Oh, well, this. we're already here about to sleep for the night. We probably should sleep tonight, but then we should force march all the way there. Agreed. I would say that right now you don't have a huge sense of urgency, because while you have knowledge of what the disease has done, nobody's really shown any terrifyingly yeah. advanced symptoms. And Cycle's dad is stabilized way more than he was, because I've healed a grand total of, yep. I think, like, seven con damage that he took. So. Yeah. I mean, granted, you don't know how much he's taking every day, but yeah, he but doesn't like, seem to have been decaying he before your eyes. He doesn't I mean, have okay. a gaping hole in his chest. Actually, okay. Well, the only reason why I say that is because you, um, Elephus, you mentioned that we we might not make it in time with the couple of days that we have. So That's I'm looking, why... I'm looking over the sick patients and seeing how they're doing. Okay. With that heal. Um, Jamash appears to be in about the same condition as he was yesterday night. Um, and Kirik. Kirik is dead. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Um, I guess he turned into a turducken. <laughs> oh. Kirik, are you trying to conceal anything when he's heal checking you? Yep. Okay, give me a stealth Not check. Not worrying anyone. Stealth. All right. Yeah. Wouldn't it be Why like would sleight of maybe, organs? It'd be it may be sleight of hand or, or stealth. Yeah, let's go yeah. stealth. Yeah, that's gross. Okay. Um. So Kirik manages hand. to kind of hide the portions of his body that he's concerned with. Elephus. So when you look him over, um, he he sort of he's sort of hesitant to let you check him out, but you do anyway. Um, but just to not like uh, press him or make him uncomfortable, you don't go too terribly far into depth. And you don't find anything wrong with him. You're not okay. being invasive, damn it. Yeah. No fingers in the butt. Pretty much. Or cloaca, I guess. Ah, uh, bird joke. <laughs> I don't know whether to be impressed by the joke and the speci specificity, or to be worried that you know the name of a bird butthole. Biology, bitches. Okay. Yeah, let's like roll off. Yeah. Um. Biology. So, what are our watches? <laughs> I already rolled mine. Mine was like a 13. She rolled hers. Wait, no, no, yeah, 13. No, perception. I mean the number, like who's watching what. Oh, I went I first. Sent them normal or second. Elvis. Normal. Cycle. Kirk, yep. Santham, Kirk, then Savrick, then Elvis. Correct. Yep, and then Cycle in the morning. Yep, Savrick's been there. Can't help so but like feeling that. that we're gonna have to pay yep. for yep. our Donna sneaking off like that. That's her fucking fault. It is. We're a very unforgiving lawful good. Well, we saved her, and now she ran away, and that's really frustrating. It's like our work went in vain, and she wants revenge. But you weren't actually off to save her in the first place. You just happened to find her. Yeah, yeah we, we were. If yeah, we, we, we found her, her, we'd find her sister. We right, our goal... Kari. Well, In the end, it was to save Kari, but really it was also to assist her and thereby save her in the process, because she was running off. Thank mm. you, guys. The concern was there. Yes. It's the thought that counts. Is it, though? Yes. So does Nessie attack us? Does Nessie <laughs> attack us? Uh, it's not the lock. No, but... Yeesh. On... We do have had camps laid up. I do have... Yes. That's... Okay. Um, on Xantham's watch, you hear some footsteps in the woods. Crunching of twigs and whatnot. Uh, what do I have to roll? Another perception to get better idea of what it is? Yeah. Or should I just wake up everybody? That's up to you. Okay, well... I'm Are you gonna... trying to find out who it is? Like, you can't yeah. just tell me that you're rolling perception. You have to tell me what you're trying to do. 
Okay, well, I'm going to roll perception to get a better idea of the footsteps. How? Are you listening closer? Are you getting closer and trying to see? Like, how are you perceiving? Okay, well, I guess I will try to listen better. Okay. What is that? I was like, is there some kind of weird feedback thing going on? Or is somebody providing intentional dramatic music? Because there isn't anything. Oh. Um, you can tell that the footsteps are approaching your campsite from Ambiance. the east near where the lake is. All right. Well, I gently awake everybody and say there are footsteps coming near our camp towards the east. Wake me up if it's an enemy. So I'm guessing Kiri goes back to sleep. I yep. wake up. Sure do. Because you yeah, woke wake me up. up. And I'm going to try to look and see who it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, I don't see anybody! It's a hydra! Back to sleep. <laughs> um, Savrik, you are kind of distracted by the fire for a moment. I get like one of those... Uh, like oh, you image. couldn't think of any better? He I just woke up anything. from sleeping? He totally thinks he's dreaming still. I've got... And got the more well, stairs, technically, the perception of the is one of the skills that when you roll that one, nothing's supposed to happen. So I go cross-eyed and lose all depth perception for 24 hours. <laughs> yeah, no, no, nothing like that. I mean, you could go cross-eyed for a few minutes and like just not see anything. Um, so I would say you maybe, maybe you just stay kind of sleepy and you don't really get up. That sounds... God, I roll a net one every time I wake up. <laughs> Oh, I need coffee. <laughs> um, let's see. Elethus, uh, you're able to discern the footsteps. They seem to have walked past your camp and are now journeying west. Um, but they seem to be kind of like looping around. How so? Uh, it sounds like they're journeying west and then south and then like back north again. And then kind of like southwest-ish. Sounds like, like they're just kind of person? wandering around aimlessly. Ooh. Do you think it's a person? Ooh. Do I see who's making the footsteps? No, it's Can pretty dark out tonight. Okay. Well, I, I tell my group, it's like, I see these footsteps and they're kind of aimlessly wandering in a westward direction. Uh, Ele but... Wait, yeah, it's Elephus, right? Are you yes. able to turn into like a little critter? I mean, do you have the ability and to check it out without looking yeah. suspicious. I turn into an owl and fly out of our campsite. Okay. Good move. And yes. follow the footsteps. Um, you fly out and find the source of the footsteps. You find Ordana wandering around in the forest, cursing under her breath. I stay a owl and listen into what she's muttering. Um, she says something along the lines of, it was just here, I know it was just here, they wouldn't leave me. And then you see her hands kind of glowing blue. I call out and then land several feet behind her, like 40 feet behind her, and turn back into myself. Um, I'm going to need the RP for that for that call, though. Like, what is that? <laughs> Actually, I, I can't That's do the any worst call. owl uh, sound. Ow, ow, ow. It would just be like a horribly screech. Like, and everyone's screech. Yeah. And the entire party is now owl experts, except that they're all wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> every uh, every mouse Mine within six miles disappeared. It's humanoid. Um, owl. You startle her, and she, you can, you see, um, a ball, a blue ball, fly from her hand and strike the tree behind you. And I need a reflex save. Okay. That's the make this reflex save. What in our roll? There we go. As I make this reflex save, I say, "Hey, John, it's me, Elephus." Ouch! Shit. <laughs> We've gathered here to mourn our friend Elephus. I don't Aww. think she killed me. She's pretty angry, though. In, in all fairness, I did sources. scare the shit out of a powerful sorceress in the middle of the it's night. True. Yeah. 
shape. At least you didn't like, land shape. on her shoulder or something. Yeah, that's why I landed, you know, 40 yards away. Like, is, is 40 she a yards. sorceress or is she a, like, really a Really far away. Uh, okay, um, you take 15 points of damage and are frozen in place. She is it. From 40 <laughs> yards away? What the fuck is her aim? You didn't say 40 yards away. I you did, said I landed no. behind her. I did say he 40, 40 yards away. Yeah. I yards will point out, feet? meta, that the range on fireball is like 690 feet. So. Shit. Okay. Well, that sucks. But still, that's crazy fucking accuracy. Uh, <laughs> well... Turning. Meta again. She would have hit you for thirty-one if she hit you directly. So can I Ouch. roll perception to see if I saw what happened? Uh, yes, actually, I think everyone at the campsite probably witnessed a giant blue ball exploding, um, in a very crackling, like sort of like um, oh, like a cold snap sort of sound when the tree got frozen. Good reference. Nice. Um, I know how to change my health in this, so... I took how much damage? Fifteen. Whoops. I yeah, just my token your health. Time. 420 no scope. Yeah, well, this is the sec uh, first watch, so I'll still rest yeah. and gain my health um, back. Or some of it. Is that half your health? Um, well, I would have been at 30 right? P, so... Okay. Yeah. Essentially. She, um... Now. Once she sees you, she like has this look of her face just sort of goes as white as a blue person can go, and she rushes over to you and she's like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry." I'm frozen in place, but I can still talk, right? Yes, you're just entangled. <laughs> I say it's it's okay. Um, is there any way you can kind of get me out of this uh, little frozen bit of webbing here? Um, so she assists you in getting out. And the ice melts cool. after a few moments. Um, she just sort of tugs your foot and pulls you free of the ice. And she's like, "I, where's the campsite?" <sighs> Follow me. And I cunningly I, hidden. I bring I bring her back to where I believe it is. You live okay. back as close as I can get. And then I call out to all of our friends who are in the campsite. It's like, "Hey guys, I can't see the campsite. Can one of you kind of poke your arm out?" <laughs> I go. Oh my god, what is yeah, that? And immediately throw a bomb at you both. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get out and wave. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll I'll I'll gesture for you guys to come over and cool. call out. Well, what the hell was that blue crackling <laughs> thing? I kinda scared her Donna. Her Donna just looks sort of nervously ashamed at the ground. Where'd Hi, you go? Donna, I thought you uh Where'd you go off to? We missed you. I just needed some time to think. And she, you uh, see her, like, squeeze her hands really tight, and she's got, like, white knuckles again. Well, next time you need, next time you do that, uh, could you let us know so we, we don't, have yeah. we don't worry? She's Cause... silent for a moment, and then she looks off in the distance and says, yes, I, I can do that. Thank you, we, would, we greatly appreciate that. Because we're gonna head to go save our friends before they die of the sickness. Yes. Also, it'll help I... you find us again. I kind of try to hide our campsite every night in case it you have another It would be nice if we could save sense. everyone, wouldn't it? Yep. And um, we yeah. might. We yeah. just might. So keep that hope in there, because if you don't, then that's when you've really lost. It's easy to be hopeful when you have the people you love in your possession. And you do in your heart. She sort of snaps an angry glare at you, and she says that may be where she lives forever if I don't hurry. Okay, well, nice. we will help when we can get there. I, I tell her, Erdana, stay with us, help us get my father and the bird to Ergonost, and I promise we'll go back to get your sister. If indeed that's where she is. She nods and just says, okay. Because you can't do this alone. Not yet. Ominous. Not yet? What is that supposed to mean? She just stays silent and walks to her bed. 
Um, Savrick, I'll give it to you, but 11's a bit low. Understandable. Um, I have a, a meta question. Well, I don't know if I... Oh, shit. I probably, um, is she a wizard, or is she a sorceress? She's a sorceress. Or... Sorceress, okay. And they have kind of like that natural magic... Like their they like um, power comes she from the is game. she's an um well the way she's built she's an elemental bloodline sorceress um, okay down like the cold chain so she's water okay. water plane um, bloodline um, so she's able to change any of her elemental damage types to cold oh that's cool what about okay. me do I get whispered too uh yeah I guess so good God. I'm going to okay. sit by the fire and try to warm the shit. Um, so off. Xantham and Savrik, you guys both think from the way she said that, that um, her motives may move towards just seeking raw power for the purposes of revenge. Ooh, gives me chills. Hey, there's only room for one of those type of you characters don't in this think party. That. Well, oh. but Cycle, you don't know that. <laughs> I know. I'm just if, saying. Actually, if it fits into the story well, I mean, you just think that was a totally normal thing to say. Yeah. That's true, actually. But like, yeah, yeah, that pretty much, pretty much what, it, what I would do. Yep, that's my world. Allegedly. Yep, yep. Okay, so we uh, sleep. Yeah, I'm going to pull some berries out of my back and turn them sure. into good berries and eat them real quick. Uh, um, the rest of the night goes rather uneventful, and... While Erdana does toss and turn in her bedroll, she sleeps through the night. Okay. How much do you heal from sleeping? I forget. Um, should be one hit point per level for eight hours of sleep. So six? Yeah. So I get nine total. Yes. I'm at 27. Um, before we leave camp the next day, I am going to look for some more berries around before we hit the road. Okay. I would say that there's thicker brush here, so just a survival check will probably do pretty cool. good. Oh, yeah. You 100% find some berries near the lake. They look cool. like they're in good shape. I replenish my stash of berries, and I turn a few of them into good berries. Three of them, in fact. You roll, have rolled like nothing but threes with that combination apparently, of dice apparently this entire session. all my 2d4s are just going to be three. <laughs> I mean, take that. That's the fourth time in a row you've rolled three, three total. Wow. Three, three, three. Actually, I think it's the fifth time, because I think for Kyrick, on the previous day, I healed him for... Oh, no, I only healed for two. Wow. Okay. All right. So far. So you guys gather up your campsite, put out your fire. Um, so how does Forced March work? Forced March. There has to be at least one person sitting on the wagon screaming at us and telling us we're maggots and have to keep moving till our feet bleed. I feel like that I would be me. I volunteer for that role. Oh, okay. Well, okay, forced is... march. In a normal day of walking, a character walks for eight hours. The rest of daylight time is spent making bed, camp, resting, and eating. A character can walk for more to, more than eight hours a day by take, making a forced march. For each hour of marching beyond eight hours, a con check of DC 10 plus two per extra hour is required. If the check fails, the character takes 1d6 points of non-lethal. The character who takes any non-lethal damage from a forced march becomes fatigued. Eliminating the non-lethal damage also also eliminates the fatigue. It is possible for characters to march into unconsciousness by pushing too hard. That's why we have Restoration Lesser and keep unfatiguing the horse so she can march forever. Yeah, it would basically be the horse would have to make that check. Um, so it depends on how extra, how much extra time you spend moving oh, during much. the day. Are you going to march through the night? Mm, well, so... If well, let's we were to... see how far we get first, and then we can make that yeah, decision. Yeah, so let's do a, you know, geography check to see. I how already did and rolled the 22. Oh, okay. I missed that. I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I rolled it 
as soon as we made the first jump, because I didn't think we were going to really be doing much, and then we spent a while having an adventure with Erdana. So we find our way to the... find the quickest path to the river, which is how much we would normally be able to travel in a day. Yes. So by the time we get there, it's the end of the day. It's pretty close to evening, yeah. It, it's the time that we would okay. normally decide to make camp, and we could... Can I see so, how long it would take us to get to Ergonos from here? Do I have to roll for it? Um, I would say probably either geography or maybe local to like recognize where you're at on the road and match it to your world map. Bah. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. So okay. you know so, that's about 24 miles to Ergonos from here. Now we wouldn't for another eight hours, which would be a long time, but that would be basically all through the night, we wouldn't even get to Ergonost. So it's one of those, we might want to just, just camp near the road and then do a forced march tomorrow and make it all the way. And we really need to do a forced march tomorrow. Yeah, We'd we almost be there. Sounds oh, a good idea. Would we? We would have to do yeah, an extra few miles, would. so we would have to do a forced march. I say we just go through it. Well, I do have four well, restoration to rest lessers prepared, so I could just keep yep. Blanche awa like, awake, so long as she doesn't fail more than four. But on I'm it, cool I say that. I say we do it. So we'll force march tonight. If everybody's in agreement. So okay. basically, you're gonna you're gonna yeah. walk ten extra hours. We're gonna try it. We I mean we have to go like each hour at a time, right? Blanche has to do a contract each hour. No, it's a force march marching for each hour beyond eight. Con check DC ten plus two per extra hour. So you'd be looking at a DC thirty to make that. Okay. Um. Uh, maybe we shouldn't do that then. Yeah, that's really okay. insane. Let's... I didn't realize we had to do it for every hour. All right. Let's, well, let's you don't have to roll it every hour. You just roll it once, and then I yeah, add but... two to the DC for every hour that you're trying to force march. But, like, Blanche wouldn't be able to do that. Right. It doesn't matter. Well, she could keep going. You just have to, <laughs> you have to keep curing it. Well, I mean, so she... the thing is, like, if she fails the DC, which she would, because, like, she can't roll that high, I would... Right. Cast Restoration Lesser, and she wouldn't be fatigued. Right. And then what would you do? Um, you, she, if she's cured of fatigue, then she could continue to forced march. I would probably rule that, like, by the third time of reaching fatigue, she might pass out, though. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, if we can camp. That's that's okay. Uh, yeah. Let's just camp, and then we'll do one forced march. That should be enough. Yeah. So... Forced march for like two hours tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get there in like the middle of the night, but we'll get there. Uh, I do a survival check to look for an appropriate campsite. So Elvis is like, I don't think we should push the horse that hard, you guys. Yeah. I, I pet Blanche also. No. I don't want to hurt you, Blanche. I pet Blanche also does and Blan say, does, does I Blanche give me a kiss? Damn it. I will sacrifice you in an instant. For a mild convenience. Anyways, do I f I'm assuming I find a really awesome campsite. <laughs> yes, you find a very good campsite. Cool. Off to the side of the road, and it looks like people have camped here before, actually. Awesome. I'm going to cast a uh, heal check to check out uh, Jamash. Just need to see if he needs any more healing. Um, you check out Jamesh, and his body looks to have wasted a little since you last checked on him. Well, I'm going to cast two lesser restorations on him. Let's see if I roll a three again. Ooh. Damn. Wow. He gets cured of a lot of con damage. Yay. It's paying off. Um, you think he definitely looks stronger than he has, 
ever before. Awesome. I I tell Cycle it's like okay, that time I think we did some good. He's definitely I think we'll Thanks, be able man. to make it to Ergonos tomorrow without him. Good. Um, Kurik's body doesn't seem to be wasting at uh, all. Uh, okay, I was gonna roll a perception because this would be the second time that he's tried to hide something, <laughs> or seemed less interested. Yeah, that's fair. But um, but it seems like yeah. he's probably just nervous. Okay. And he does like the heel would say that he doesn't seem wasted at all. Yep, his body hasn't decayed at all, from what you can tell. Okay. I ask Kyrix, would you like me to cast lesser restoration on you? I don't know I, I, how are you feeling on the inside. Fine. My brother has gone mute. Jeez, Kyrix, you loudmouth, quit talking so much. Fucking burnt people. All right, he took took it took it to heart. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> Don't have to believe me to see it for yourself. I asked how you were on the inside. I, I can't. I can't see that. I cast lesser restoration on him, regardless. Don't abuse your meta knowledge. I also. Okay. It doesn't my... seem to have much effect on him. Yeah, I, I I tell Xanthem that Kyrick seems to be hiding something from me. Maybe she can talk to him okay. before you know we sleep happen. for the night. Well, I know that Kirk, Kirk always does mischievous stuff, and I have to take the blame for it because I love him enough, I guess. <laughs> something like that. Man, you I would guess. get some shit if I died, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. More shit than I can deal with. Uh, so, Kirk, um, you doing okay? How do you think I'm doing? I know Ellis is trying to help you. I hope you're allowing him to help like, you. Well, aside from the fact that I'm dying, yeah, I'm doing great. And possibly the only person that showed me kindness outside of this group might be, you know, having a very horrible time and we failed to even get close enough to even know she was there. And then I got infected by an unknown disease. I'm not doing great. Yeah, but Elephus is trying to help you, and are you allowing him to help you as best as possible, or? He's doing it, regardless. Regardless, what does that mean? Regardless, if I told him otherwise, I mean, you see, he just did it. Oh. He'll okay. keep doing it. And that's a good thing. Yeah, you think that's a good thing, right, Carrick? Do you just want to waste guess. away? Are you hiding anything, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I pull her aside. And I whisper to her. I just don't want to make people concerned. And is that because you know we're getting close to town and that you'll get even more help? Is that why? Well, we can hope there'll be help there, but if there isn't, I don't want to concern the party any more than they already are. Hmm. What a hero. <laughs> oh no. Well... It'd be different it'd be different than a zombie movie though, because the second before the second anything like that started happening, I would either A fly away or B jump into a lake and drown. That's fair enough. Okay, well, if you put it that way, Kirk, um, just make sure that Elif don't don't stop Elif this from helping you because you are yeah. a very key member of our team, and I would not want you to lose you. Also, no, she loves you. To lose your keychain. You know, you're you're the brother, her brother. Yeah. To you guys, I'm the door unlocker. Mm -hmm. Very important door unlocker too. Most important. The most. Okay, well, uh, we should be in town, what, from what the team member said, the next day? So, keep strong. Great. Okay.
Um, so... You guys camp for the night, and it goes pretty uneventful. There's a bit of a breeze tonight. It's a little cold, but other than that, um, nothing comes upon you in the night. What breeze is this? A foul breeze. Okay. Okay. Let's Carrot hit the road. Foul. So yeah, let's let's make our way to Ergonest. So we can travel fifteen miles. On the road? On the yeah. Right? Fifteen miles a day? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, you can go 20 now, can't you? Because you're on the road. I thought it was more okay. on the road yeah, than it would be through wilderness. It's like 20. Okay. We're almost there. I'd say we should just Yeah, and then we have five up. miles, so that would probably be an extra two hours. So, Blanche, let's do your DC. We did it, you guys. We did it. Yay. One second. I have to see if Blanche can make Oh, no, you're fine. Okay. There's no, no contact. This is only the you're... first. Yeah, you only walked eight hours. I forgot that we're on the road. Right. We're going faster. Good catch. Well, no, we did travel an extra five. Like, we traveled 25 miles today, so it would be an extra two hours. Oh, it would? Yeah. It's 20, oh. 20 miles. Yeah, but 20, 20 miles, miles was and eight hours. guaranteed. Yeah, he's right. 25, so you do need to make a con check for the remainder of How? Because you guys were down here. And it was so like you can travel 20 miles in eight hours. 25. So. An extra five oh. miles. An extra two hours. Yeah, but you said that walking through the night, you get the first hours. Oh yeah, eight you made it easily. Free, I thought. Yep. Okay. No, yeah, he's just rolling for the remaining two hours, which would have been a check of fourteen. He yeah, but it. I thought you could continue to walk through the night another eight hours free, and then after that, oh, was no, when no, you start making no. checks. No. You... Okay, I misunderstood how Force March works then. It's any any hours that you walk beyond the eight hours a day that you would normally. Gotcha. Okay. But you guys make it just fine. I mean, Blanche, he's pretty tired cool. when you guys reach Ergonost, but um, they they welcome you at the gates. They recognize you um, pretty much immediately. It seems like they're actually expecting you. I don't have a map for Ergonost, so we'll just um, we'll just role play through it. Okay. Well, okay. We, I I tell the guards um, that Kirik and. Jamash have been infected with a disease that is called morphing sickness, and it seems to be a new disease that I've never encountered before. Um, you yeah, know everything about. Yeah, I've you've named it morphing sickness. <laughs> I guess you've coined the term. I've, I've coined the term morphing sickness. I explain to them what the disease does and try to and tell them to bring the peons, the best the best healers that they have here in Ergonos, Um to help and Jamash. Alchemist. Jamash they have any other alchemists there? Pretty sure you are. You and Jamash are probably the only alchemists. Maybe others, but yeah, yeah, you're definitely the true. only magical one. <laughs> yep. Um. Yeah. Bring the best healers and and have them attend to Kirik and. Um. So the guard Jamash. says, "Okay. Um. I think we've seen something similar to this before. We didn't really have any trouble, um, taking care of it though. Um." I'll go get uh, No Neck. No Neck. I I know No Neck. Well, I would love to talk with him. Who's No Neck? Um, the friendly paladin. The guard leaves for oh. a little while and then comes back. I hope he doesn't. With a very familiar-looking paladin. Does he look mad? Um, he has a frown on his brow, but you can't tell if that's because he's angry or old. If I was that old, I'd be angry about it. Um, how about we do this? Try to determine whether or not he's angry. Um, he's not mm. angry so much as overwhelmed. Okay. Well, I, I, sensing that he's not angry at us, I, I don't really say anything. I'm just like, okay. Whew, like, Why would he be angry at us? Well, we we kind of got the son his... and his wife. But he doesn't know that. Well, we're not we sure. May have found the, out. He may have found out because we told we told the the general guy. Mm -hmm. Was this when I was gone? This was way back in Sylvanus. Okay. 
This might have been the session you were gone. Yeah, I know you guys robbed the guy. After we got back something. to Raven Hill, uh, after we got back from Raven Hill, they were telling the general what happened, and yeah. No neck was there, but we didn't tell no Remember, we had we had Elethus smell for the faint wafting scent of shit under a pile of rocks that we poured on them. Yep. Oh, he's there, people. There. Uh... Yeah, yeah no neck is <laughs> oh. Zen Lightborn's father. But Turk could try to stop us from leaving um, okay. our hometowns. And in general, he's been nice to us. I, I, I greet No Neck and say, No Neck, thank God you're here. Uh, Carrick and um, Jamish are. I'm going to drink Focus Scrutiny. Which gives okay. me an hour of Focus Scrutiny, just in case. Okie doke. Um, no Neck comes over to you and he says, Hello, children. Um, I see that you have... Uh, no, I, I heard that you have some um, patience for me. Yes, Jamash has been stricken ill with this disease, and so has Kirik. I would like your help in curing it, if possible. Uh, I will see what I can do for Jamash. Um, Kirik would be a new case for me. I... I understand that this disease affects your kind differently than us. It, it does, but is there anything you can do to help him? I will do my best, but it may be that he is a case study and I can't... Yeah. <laughs> Just don't salvage me. Where I, I don't heard... understand that reference. You don't remember that? No. Back in Sylvanost when we came back, I was like, yeah, whatever happened to that guy I accidentally killed in training? And he said, oh, don't worry, no neck happened to salvage him. I'm like, oh, wait, that's good. Wait, salvaged? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that guy's a little damaged in the head now. Yeah, Where don't choices? salvage me. Well, it's kind <laughs> of a... It's their own fault for having training exercises that are just live combat. Yeah. <laughs> He's just gonna... It's really a, not the greatest. He's just gonna make one trip down to the mailbox one, every day. Maybe they use dummy weapons. Um, Saverick, you can tell from your sense motive that um, Nonex seems like an earnest man. He doesn't seem like he has double speak or deals much in politics. It seems like he probably just wants to help people. Okay. Is that what Elephus senses also? Yes. Um, but Elephus was just seeing if he was angry, so... Yeah. He's... Oh, I, see. I don't know this person, so... Uh... Yeah, Saverick's, yeah, Saverick's him. giving him the, the evil eye. Giving him a good one, so... Well, he sees a paladin, and uh, he's yeah. an ampere, and he's untrusting, so... It's... Yeah. Holy Seems... energy and I don't get along. No neck, all nice the entire Fair time. Fair enough. And he just sees... He just sees... Um, he's like, Follow me. I would say that no neck ca catches the, gla the gaze of Saverick. And um, he just, he sort of hesitates for a moment, not sure how to react. And then he just sort of like nods um, oh, and turns his attention back worry. to what he was doing. Don't worry, he's cool. He, I'll he's with back us. At him. He's a civilized vampire. Uh -huh. Anyways, I am going to write a letter um, to, uh, what the fuck, I can't remember his name. Cyril. Okay. Yes. Uh, explaining I... the condition that Kyrick's in. Um, and okay. wondering if there's anything that he or the Council of Lassanid might be able to do about it, or if they know anything about this disease. I ask the paladin if uh, he's seen my mother. Uh, last I knew, your mother was still at Sylvanost working with the scribes there. She must still be on her way then, I say, assuming that she got my letter in the first place. Well, you just sent that, like, a couple days ago, and Nonek, you have no idea how long he's been here, so... Right. Um, I ask... Uh, whoever's most in charge here at Ergonost, I, I try to find them. Uh, a 
Okay. Um, you look around uh, for like a keep and you find a building that looks very similar to the keep in Sylvanost, but smaller. And there isn't like the whole balcony business over the mm -hmm. bathhouses. It's just sort of a castle looking structure. Smaller looking keep. Yep. Okay. Well, I walk into the, the keep and uh, with my ladder and I go and find whoever I think is most in charge. Okay. Uh, you see a man who uh, is wearing like the traditional, um, like the the white armor that you've seen some of the high-ranking guards wear, um, but he has his helmet off and he's like standing um, with a bunch of like people in robes that have like scrolls and stuff that look like they're advising him. So he seems like okay. he might be calling some shots. Cool. Well, I walk up to him and I say, "Excuse me, sir." Um, I yes. just came from a troubling encounter with an evil alchemist in the marsh, marshes of the Midlands. Um, and two of my friends are being treated as we speak, but I, I have an urgent letter um, that I would like to be sent to Zyrul the Wise and the Council of Lassenet. Um Do you have any idea where they might be? Uh, well, no, we don't know where Zyrul's at, but, um, did, back up, did you say evil alchemist? I'm gonna say that he's pretty fucked up. He's messing with the balance of nature. He's creating monsters in his lair. Well, I, I wouldn't say it's, unheard, this. I wouldn't say it's unheard of for alchemists to mess with nature. What makes you say evil? Uh, this I say and lift up the uh. Wait, <laughs> how did we kill the? How did we kill that thing? Did we cut its head off? Cut we did its cut head its head off. off. Yeah, right, I lift the severed head of the of the um. Hydra. <laughs> so no. you followed Elephus into the keep, man. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I lift the severed head of the monster and toss it uh, on the floor in front of. Holy f Jesus! Okay, not Jesus. Yeah. Um. Phrasma above. It would be like Holy like Phrasma. By the gods, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it doesn't look great. So. No, that's not by the gods. That's by Baffert. I see. Um. Is this? Is this a threat? I mean, it looks horrible, but is it a threatening creature? Yeah. Uh, it's, you could say me. that it's it slash fucked infects, a bunch of us. Up. Infects its victims with morphing sickness. Any children of the tree. Wait, this is turned... the source of the disease. This is the source of it the is. disease. It is. Well, not this particular one. This is one of its victims. But it, any of its victims, can spread the disease. The real source is the evil alchemist. So back to the thesis of our discussion. Why do you keep referring to him as evil? Has he brought any demons into the world? I look at him like, are you fucking serious? Look at the thing. I just look at it. All right. All right. So you're telling me that there is an alchemist who is evil hiding in the woods, creating these monstrosities mm -hmm. and he's the source of the disease but how how did we we've got very good intel in that area how did we miss him what kind of intel do you have well he are the mayor children in there too or just xanthem are you with your brother or uh, i should be with my brother because i care more most about him right. but also i'm thinking wouldn't i want to be there to send a letter off but I think I'll be with my brother because I care. Well, about you don't him. go to the keep to send letters, so no, oh, you're not there. The, I, the only reason I went to the keep is because I'm looking for a very specific person. Yeah. He tends to not be in any given, like any specific place. Mm, I see, I see. So yes, I am with my brother. All right, I'm just trying to assess how big of a threat this is. Would you the say? The mayor's seemed to be. Wait, didn't? You like, should talk didn't to we have my... You yeah, should talk it, to my father. He is more familiar with how many of these creatures 
are around, but I understand. Wait, we know that. Okay, this is meta. I I can't remember. He we know that they killed a dragon, right? Um, you know that there he was a that? dead dragon there. You don't know if they killed it or if they found okay. it already or where it came from. Okay. Um, we know that there are. My father saw a bunch of these creatures there. Uh, and your father around knows his the lair. And my father knows this alchemist and says that we need to stop him. He also said that there's a dead dragon there. Are you sure you want to leave that to an evil alchemist uh, that's willing to do experiments and turn mere children into monsters like this? I point at the floor, at the severed head, severed monstrous head. Mm, I wouldn't say that you know that that's the product of the disease. Wouldn't I? Um, you sure seem to know a lot about this. <laughs> well, no, this is meta. Okay. Um, oh, we don't. You know, know that, that they, the... you know that they are, have rapid changes, but you don't know that these creatures are from those changes. Okay. It's probably not a crazy assumption. Well, so I'm I not going to require John a bluff. basically said that. Yeah, Jamish basically said that he was turning the children of the tree in, of the tree into creatures and i know that the disease morphs the creatures of the tree fair enough more than... i feel like we could connect these dots yeah, yeah. no i don't think like, that's an unreasonable conclusion i just wanted to make sure I mean, that can, that was the I line can do of an thinking and i didn't or like give you or... false information or yeah. something yeah I, it was so I, I i i took it as fact so when you were like saying this stuff i was like how is it how do we not know that it's like obvious <laughs> okay all right so um Okay, let me back up. Um, so he says that, uh, well, we have the intel in the area from the the Wardens of the East. Um, we haven't seen any of the things that you report, but clearly there is a problem. And he gestures to the monster head on the floor in front of him. Unless that is just some very elaborate prop, which I somewhat doubt from what I've heard of your group. Um... You should speak to my father. He's one of the warden. He's a warden of the east, right? No, no that would be the mayor. Oh, family. That's mother. Yeah. What was he? We, what was we traveled there? with the mayors here. In fact, one of them, their favorite child, is infected with the disease from this creature. Oh, young Kirik. I see. Yes, he's being treated by Nonek as we speak, but Nonek's not sure if he can do anything, and that's why I need to get this letter to Zyrul, and I throw the letter at him. <laughs> um. Oh. Okay. He so he takes the letter. Um, is it sealed? Yes, the letter would be sealed. Okay. Uh, he takes the letter and eyeballs it and says, "Where are we sending this? We don't know where Zyrul is." Ah, well, if you guys don't have any intel of Zyrul's most recent locations, he's usually in. Where Just put it? out it's an APB and right? send it whenever he shows up. <laughs> we can send this as far as Tarsus but I, I can't guarantee that it'll get to him. He has no known residence. Yes. Well, the best bet would be to send it to Tarsus then. Uh, okay. I can he... send this out first thing in the morning. Thank you. Post but case. I have to say that like, the mares will not... They're not going to take special consideration of their children. I, I mean, they have for lack of a better term, bigger fish to fry. There's there's a war on, as you know, and we're not winning. I am aware of that. We also believe that this alchemist may have kidnapped Kari. I had heard that intel, um, but I wasn't aware that the alchemist was the person behind that. Um, would you say what he's kind an of fish? I want would you... fish. Would you say he's an immediate threat, or does it look like he's just sort of biding his time for now? We um... have reason to believe that while the alchemist is creating monstrosities, and given that he may have kidnapped Kari, who is an incredibly powerful child of the tree, what he could do to her might make this issue an incredibly pressing one. I would elaborate on that and just say that um, he seems to be gathering his strength right now, but every day that passes, 
uh, the bigger the threat he gets. Okay. How much time do you think we have? Um, How on earth would we... Yeah, I don't think we would know that, really. Uh, I guess you'll just have to bullshit then, won't you? I mean, um, okay, so here's just breaking character for a second, just to discuss with the group. Are we trying to go back there immediately? Cause well, Darf, we, did, I thought... we did promise her Donna we made, that we Yeah, would... I was like, we made yeah. a promise to save her sister if possible. Okay, then I'm going to bullshit this guy. Um, What was the last question he asked? How long do you think we have? Sooner the better would, is a good answer. Uh, the sooner the better. How many men can can we have uh, ready to strike in? The, I don't know what three days you guys think. Two days. Uh, well, should we? Well, I guess it depends on how quickly Kirk and your father get healed. Oh yeah. But we have no idea how long that could take. So while he hears you guys talking, he says, unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to spare any men until we s succeed in defending Onstar. A battalion leaves south tomorrow. I look at Erdana and ask her if she would be able to help us defend Onstar so that we could have the men to help her save Kari. To help avenge or avenge her, if that's what we need to do. Erdana sort of stares at the floor and ponders, and she says, That seems... <sighs> this is all too much. That's too long, but if that's what we need to do, that's what we need to do, I suppose. And you see kind of some blue flame kind of flicker across her fingers. So it's settled. We save OnStar, and then you you uh, dispatch a battalion with us to take on this alchemist. If we are able to defend OnStar, that would go a long way to freeing up forces. But there's still an incursion in Thorold. Um, we could probably spare one battalion if this is as big of a threat as you think. I will forward your opinion to the general and get his um, approval of that plan before we go ahead and sanction it. Did Zarek join us? Okay, in that case, I'm going to roll a diplomacy check to uh, impress upon him um, how vitally important this uh, this threat is. I can do diplomacy. Would that be correct? Um, diplomacy would make him friendly to you. He's already friendly. You might try okay. maybe an intimidate. Okay, let's do intimidate. Now I get plus five on Intimidate. Nice. So, Zavik, are you in the keep oh. of this? How about carousing? Oh, carousing. Okay. Yep. Um, Savrik, you come across a interesting looking shop. Don't mind if I do. What's in the shop? I'm getting there. And I applied the plus five to that already, so it was a fourteen originally. Um, so you like get very, very stern with your voice, and he says, "Okay, now listen up." <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and he says, "I understand. We'll we'll send this out tonight." Along with your letter to Zyrul, uh, apparently time is now of the essence. Um, time is mana. In case you are wondering, <laughs> we believe the Aetherian forces are, if not already at Onstar, um, less than a day's march from the gates. We suspect that they will siege the city first, rather than do an all-out attack. Um, it just seems to be their MO so far. How many men do you think that they have? It's difficult to say because they aren't all on the road. Some of them are spread through the forest. Um, but last count, we believe they've got a battalion of 200. <laughs> Nothing. 
How many men do we have? Uh, Roughly 50. Fuck! I, I look at... After hearing that news, I look at Cycle and be like, I wonder if Savrick's friends might be able to help more. I nod, yeah. Monster Slayers. That could be just what we need to take on this alchemist. More bombs! Now the question is... Do we go for the Monster Slayers and let Thorold take on Star, or do we go for the Monster Slayers and let Thorold take on Star? Well, I was saying that we could get the Monster Hunters to help it on Star and then help it. Oh. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan, too. I agree with you. Uh, we're I would going say... To... have to talk to Sarek about that. Maybe figuring out how, how long OnStar could survive a siege would be a handy thing to know. Yeah. How long can On OnStar survive a siege? Will it be long enough for us to gather some help from uh, some nearby Monster Hunter allies? Well, they do have... A similar underground water supply to what we have, um, but ours is better defended, like defensible than theirs. Um, it may be possible that Etheria could cut off flow to the city, and if that were the case, then they would just have reserves. Um, they could probably last a couple weeks in a siege, but I wouldn't push it much longer than that. Okay. Well, I'm assuming they have a map up here, just like they do at Sylvanas. Yes, it's similar. You find a table, like, kind of in a back area of the room that they're in. Um, it's not very well lit, because nobody's standing around it right now. Okay, I go over and look at the map, and I ask... Bring my uh, friend Cycle over. He's like, Cycle, come here and take a look at this. Mm -hmm. I was like, I wonder how much do you know of the geography of this area down here? I pull what out a little... A, uh, what would be a good path to the monster hunters, you think? I pull out a little compass and uh, not like a magnetic compass, but like the little, like the math mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And I start like measuring distances and going, hmm, let's see. I can uh, carry the four and the three. Hmm. Well, I think that it would take us this much time. We're trying um, to get the shortest route to the monster hunters. Yeah. I think this would be the shortest route. And I, whatever DARP says I earned from geography. Um, let's see. Geography. You know that the the area in the lowlands is mostly grassland, um, kind of prairie-like. So you could probably march straight there um, and not worry about roads. But um, the guard that you were, the guy you were talking to earlier, um, comes over and and notes that um, here. All right. So you believe that you could probably just go straight there. They're somewhere in that green area, um, so you would have to look around a little bit. Um, but the guard comes over, and he says that last they knew, um, the Reisenjäger were using a old road in this area to reach their, um, reach their stronghold. And they believe that they're held up in an old castle called Blackwall Keep, which he says is right around here. Okay. Well, I think Same. that we should probably talk to Savrick and see how we able to get back to the Rising Jaeger. I agree. And I think we, should, we, need to, we need to set out first thing tomorrow. It'll take us a few days to find these monster hunters and then uh, break the siege on OnStar. Uh, we'll get to OnStar. Definitely. I explain our plan to the general, saying that we're going to set out first thing in the morning, and instead of going with your troops, we're going to go try to recruit the Reisenjäger to at least assist us in defending Onstar, and then also in our siege of, or our attack on Bahu's lair. He sort of perks up at the mention of the Reisenjäger and says, you think you could convince them? 
We've been traveling yeah. with one of their own. We also have been given word from the mayors that we can basically offer them whatever price they ask. We're pretty badass. Well, if you could sway them to our way, um, I will hold our battalions here at the fork. And he points to that part of the road. And we will wait for your signal. Um, or your arrival, one of the two. And we will coordinate with you. That sounds like a good plan. Yeah, I would prefer not to send 50 men to their deaths. Uh, understood. I also I don't, you don't think would... that would help the balance of the war. Why would you care? Well, okay, whatever. Sure. I, I wouldn't want to send 50 men to die. That doesn't help the balance of nature. No, I don't mean you. I mean, I no. would say that thinking about him, I'd be like, why... They're his men. Uh -huh. okay. They're his men, and he has to send them to OnStar regardless, so he's either I mean, going I get to send it. them to their death, or he's going to wait for us. I get it intellectually, but emotionally, I'm like, oh, what? You, you care? No. You care about the, uh, what's the word? Um, um, humans. Why? <laughs> I give Cycle a weird look. It's like, you care about us, bitch. Yeah, but well, and, you guys are cool, man. In fairness, they're not all human. Well, fair enough. He just sort of looks at you oddly. You're a bit of a strange one, aren't you? You have no That's idea, true. guy. But they do say that I'm charming. Yeah. That's the word. And he just walks back over to his um, compatriots and starts having just, a discussion again. I just 21 diplomacy to him. He liked that more. <laughs> That's not what was <laughs> words. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it doesn't just make everything you say silver tongued. Actually, it was a 26 diplomacy roll because I have plus five. <laughs> Jesus. He loved that. He's like, this guy is the shit. <laughs> That's not how that works. Okay, sure, you 26 diplomacy would actually make this guy believe that cycle is charming. I don't think dipl diplomacy doesn't work that way, though. It makes your. Mm character likable i thought also i just spilled food all over myself ouch this is really hot i love how you're narrating your that, own that sounded wounding. really like <laughs> unemotional oh. ouch this is really hot I just, oh i just spilled some burning soup all over my lap oh man it's just <laughs> searing right into my skin i feel the burns turning into third degree burns soaking right through the pants yep that's my flesh it smells like burning flesh I awoke several hours later in the emergency room. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's go talk to Saverick. Okay. Um, Saverick, you are in your little shop, aren't you? Let me get yep. your shop. Um, you walk in, and there's a cute little copper bell that dings when you enter and a dwarf man is standing behind a counter just sort of reading a book and he looks up and says well hello what can I do for you hi just looking around very well uh, let me know if you would like anything and he goes back to jotting in his book and on the walls you can see that there are um, like pieces of armor and weapons and it looks like he's sort of a um not a not a smith but like somebody who sells things that a smith has made an armor it's a merchant yeah an armor he's like an armor merchant yeah i love how savrick is this is a riveting conversationalist hello yeah. how can i help you just browsing leave me alone do you want me to kill something? Would you expect <laughs> anything more from a 200-year-old vampire? Not at all. That's why I said Saverick and not, uh... Cut right through. Yeah. So, what are you looking at? Um... I'm looking at... Chainmail counts as medium armor, right? 
Uh, I think so. Actually, it might be chain shirts or light armor. I know that. Chain shirts are light. Chain is medium, and then because I know I'm pretty sure it's different in 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 D and D. Uh... Equipment. It is medium armor. Yes. Chain mail so I'm is pretty medium. sure. Cool. So I was pretty sure that I was interested in a breastplate of some kind, like an agile breastplate. Okay. Um, so you look around and you find you find a breastplate, but you're not sure if it has the properties that you are interested in. It looks well made and it's hanging on the wall. Uh, I holler at the shopkeep. Uh, what can you tell me about this piece? He looks at you surprised that you're talking to him <laughs> and he closes his book and walks over to you. Um, he takes it off of the wall and um, sort of holds it in front of you. And he said, well, this piece is specifically made so that it's easier to get in and get out of. Interesting. I assume there's some kind of... <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about like going to like 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 any other clothing store, and you're like you're like ah, oh, what what about this jacket? Tell me about it. And he's like ah, oh, well this was made so it's easier to get in and out of. I mean, like I like that. My car is not necessarily my. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different when you're talking about armor. No, I get it. I get it completely, but I was just hearing it that way in my head. <laughs> but yeah, in um in The Witcher they actually talk about uh the Witcher always um Geralt always tells him that he needs to be able to he needs armor that is designed so that he can um put it on and take it off on his own. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes perfect sense. <laughs> but I just thought it was funny. And I would say that it's probably going to allow for more agile maneuvering. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's the word I want to hear. Anyway, have we found, let's say, I guess we should roll perception to see if we find Zavrik. Yeah. yeah, and me. Are we in the infirmary um, or something? You're you... probably still in the infirmary. See, he's inside a shop, though, so it's going to be a pretty heavy check to locate him. Jesus. Wow. So you happen to be walking down a street and you can distinctly hear Savrick's voice coming from an open shopkeep door while he's talking Just to browsing. the going, yes, good. <laughs> talking to the shopkeep. Um and the shopkeeper says, Oh, so you're interested in this product? I <laughs> product <laughs> point out I point out that to cycle that Savrick's in the shop and we should Go inside. We head in there. Ding ding. Bing bing. Savrick's in the shop. Uh. Yeah. I I I guess while they're entering, I and I haven't noticed them yet. I mean, I ask him, uh, uh, what will you take for it? He notes how interested you are, and he notices that you're not wearing any sort of military insignia. So he just kind of scratches his beard a little and says, I could probably part with this one for 500 gold. Praise the shit. And I hear that, right? I would say Elethys is probably the first to enter. Can we be in the shop now? Yes, you're in the shop now. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hear you yeah, believe that this this dwarf is very sincere in his offering and really really wants you to have this and thinks it would look great on you. 
does Cycle Gear him off for the price? No, I don't think Cycle hears it. Um, I think that happens as you guys are walking in the door, and I think Elephus is able to hear, but no one else. Okay, well, I speak up. This is the case, Avrik, and distract him for a moment. Uh, excuse me, folks. I'll be right with you. I'm taking care of some business. So are we. Here to uh, see our friend Savrik. We got business to attend to. What are you doing? Military business, if you know what I mean. Oh, right. I'm being tortured. You're being tortured by now. Yeah. Uh, am I with... Am, am I... Or no, have, you left, have you left? Your, have you left Karakat? It's up to you. Okay. Like, you're well, probably still with him. I'm still probably with him, but I'm looking at my inventory, and I'm running pretty low on arrows, and I'm just meddying here, you guys. This place is... Stuff! I need... I need arrows. So I... Maybe when I know that Kirk is be okay, I head off. You don't? I, I We're should. not going to know so that for don't. quite some time. Just take Damn off. Damn it. Elethys and Cycle Breastplate. He said, why well, you make me faster in combat? You know, a oh, little more maneuverable really than good. this heavy uh, shit. I look at the, the Breastplate and try to identify it. Ooh, nicely done. Dwell. What would be um, Nog Arcana, right? You are completely sure that this piece is not magical. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem very magical to me, Savage. I don't know how much it will help you. Well, unless... I wasn't planning on magical. Well, but, uh... well maybe magical stuff is awesome, and I pulled to... my whip. Maybe it's supposed to make it more agile, agile, not magically, but just because it's not heavy armor. It's excuse, magically delicious. Excuse me, folks. Can can you just let me and my patron here do our business? No, friend. Well, I, I'm afraid I, I can't do that, but I mean it in a very nice way. We're probably going to pay for it, since, we, and, since this is our traveling companion. And he's working for us as a monster hunter. I, I understand I, I, that, folks, but I don't appreciate being pressured when I am making a sale. I nudge over to cycle. It's like, get that, check the price on that. I think our friend is trying to get ripped mm, off. Well, that seems like that would... Uh, pull a sense uh, that would cause a sense motive check to me, and I am going to sense motive on because he's trying to chase us out. However, that comes with a plus ten, so it's twenty one, because I'm still under the effects. Okay. Of uh, um, you Hocus know Fury. that he feels uncomfortable with this many people standing around him while he's talking to a patron, um, where just a minute ago nobody was there. Um, you know it's rather unusual for an entire group of people to be bartering with a single keep, like, um, or a single, uh, shop owner, and, um, yeah, he seems uncomfortable. Okay. I tell him I'll talk to whoever I want. Uh, oh, oh, okay, fair, fair enough. So, what do, what do you think of my price? I look at, uh, the Captain Appraiser. And uh, so, <laughs> what do you think? 400 gold? Well, remember that you roll the five cents motive, so you think this dude is totally being upfront. Yeah, but he's asking That's your true. honest opinion. Okay. I take a look at the item. Uh, I need to remind myself of a praise. Hmm. Well. Elephus is right, there's nothing magical about it, but goddamn if this item doesn't look like it's easy to take on and put on. Put, to take <laughs> off and put on. You can't even say it. <laughs> yeah. Game is hard. Game is. Word is hard. I roll a 24 praise. 24. Do I stumble upon the. I'm. Shop? Just give me a minute. Okay. I think he's feeling like the shopkeeper right now. Our RGM god. <laughs> He's feeling a little overwhelmed. Also, while you're doing that, can you give me some backstory on what my mother's doing right now? He's shaking his also, head in disappointment. Uh, also, give me some, I'm going to need some backstory on um, uh, OnStar, too, while you're at it. Ah, oh, you're such a jerk. I know. Uh, that's beautiful. <laughs> but Dark knows this about me. He knows that I don't actually mean this. Smirking. Yeah, exactly. See? See, Chris? He called you Chris. He okay, you know. That is your real name. 
you know that it's about 400 gold normally. I shrug. Mm, I think it would be about 400 gold normally. Because I didn't hear him say 500 earlier, right? Correct. Okay. Like, yeah, this looks like a like a really solid piece of armor, man. I mean, it looks like it's about worth about uh, 400 gold normally, probably. Well, I mean, if it was an ordinary breastplate... Um, it's it, not it, magical. It, it is an ordinary breastplate. Well, he points to an insignia but on it that looks like the Council it's... of Lassenil's, um Phoenix. And he says, but this piece was made by the, the Lady Blackhammer herself. Do we know who Lady Blackhammer is? Uh, you can give me a knowledge local and see if you do. Or history, maybe. Oh. Or you trying, can I try? Guy. I can only try one, is that right? You can try history yeah. if you'd like. Oh! Ooh, eat it. Oh, black hammer. Yeah, I banged her. <laughs> she wasn't the only one that was hammering some armor, if you know what I'm saying. And dang, she's oh my hot, God. yeah. Um, so you know that her name is Afrina Blackhammer, and that she is kind of renowned as one of the last remaining blacksmiths who's able to create um, magical arms and armor. Um, her insignia is rather famous, and it's usually a little more expensive to obtain um, armors that are made by her, but since this one isn't magical, um, you're not so sure that it's worth the extra since you're not like part of her fan club or anything. Mm -hmm. um, you don't really know a whole lot about her other than that in a historical sense. Um, you just know that she's pretty well renowned for having very high quality equipment. Um, okay. And that wouldn't affect my... Uh, I guess my praise was mediocre. Um, well, the DC for appraise is just 20, so... Oh, okay. So I fully appraised that. Yeah. Um, I'd say, well... Uh, so I'd relate all of that to uh, to Saverick and um, Elethys. And I'd say, uh, well, that does look like it's Afrina Blackhammer's signature. And uh, it's true that um, she makes kind of designer armor, uh, but she's also well known for making magical arms and armor. And... This doesn't look like it's got any magic on it. Well, well, of course. It, this is one of her earlier and works. Uh, it, it, it was practice for her, I'm sure. Well, if it was a practice, this is like a sketch from a famous artist. Don't you think that the price should come down for it? We're not going to pay full retail value. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Saverick. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. Welcome Sorry. to my Just, world. I, I am enthralled with his story. <laughs> yes. He knows what he's talking about. Yes, you are. And yes. <laughs> yes. Don't think you have a choice now. You have to buy it. I, I feel like you're pretty sure that you want this just because it's a collector's item. That, this is a part of history. I get to be inside history. I mean, I you are inside. like really, really old, so I guess history would be part of you. That's fair. I'm, um, I might be older than this breastplate. <laughs> you uh, are kinda, older than this breastplate. I kind of look at uh, at the breastplate and then at Saverick and then at the uh, at the merchant and kind of sh and, and then Elethys, uh and look at him and just kind of shrug like, well, oh, mm. I still still think it's only worth about four hundred gold. I look at the amazement of. Savic, on Savic's face and be like, you know what? Like, let, let, let's let him have this one. <laughs> All right. I, uh, I decide that, um, I, or I tell the dwarf, I'm like, I'll give you 300 and my chain mail. Hmm. <laughs> what? Uh, Why are you bluffing? Are you not going to give him the chain mail? Like, I'm fucking... <laughs> it's like... This chainmail was forged by um, I, I want to convince him that that's a good deal. What would I do to... Uh, a bluff do would be for good the... deal, yeah. 
There are other ways to convince people of things. What's your alignment? Intimidation? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, I would... Intimidate. You gotta be careful with intimidate, though, because you can rapidly oh, okay. turn someone from wanting to do anything uh, with you. Okay. I already gotcha. snapped at him once, so... Yeah, you're right. I... You, you really want this armor. That doesn't really strike me as something that I would be interested in. Um, tell you what. How, how does 475 sound? That's... Is that not higher? He said 500 what... earlier. Oh, I think I might have missed... I had to step out of the room. Okay. <sighs> Can he make Hydra skin? What did you say? 450 in the chain mail. Hmm. Done. <laughs> I strip just in, right there. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Sapper. God. And I shield my eyes. And, he just uh, has, like, no sense. Morky's eyes, too. Actually, Morky shields my eyes, and I shield Morky's eyes. It's like a see no evil situation. Yeah. As you can I... see that I'm just riddled with scars, of course. Uh -huh. You guys have seen me naked already, it's no big deal. But I don't oh. want to talk about it. I have plus seven artistry too. I should I should make some uh make some paintings and shit. Do some little some little drawings of my own. Watercolors. The artist alchemist. Alright, so you now the have archivist. yourself an agile breastplate. Oh, alchemist. I look at Saverick's fancy new breastplate and it's like, it looks good on you, man. Ping, sure ping. looks really form-fitting and agile and goddamn if that doesn't look like you can take it take it off and put it on real easy. Like your mom. Oh! Wait, my mom? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody suddenly starts thinking about their mom. I miss my mom. Oh. She's in, she's in Sylvanost. Except for Saverick, because he doesn't remember his mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> womp womp. So can this... Don't we have a Hydra skin? Can 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 that guy do something with it? Probably not. He doesn't look like a smith. No. Uh, okay. Or a clothier. Hmm. Seamster. Do you guys want to look around some more? I think yeah. oh, we yeah. would probably look around. That probably would be a good idea. I don't actually have the Hydra skin, so I uh, we don't know uh, if I would haversack. Be good we go so, off and oh, well, get the haversack. The walls yeah. are ordained Suzu. with weapons and armor. Hey, did you so. find me? Cool. I'm gonna join them then if they're looking for the haversack, because it's with Kirk, right? Why do you need the haversack? Oh, the Hydra, skin. Hydra skin. Oh yeah. Why do you need the Hydra skin? To make to it, it to yeah, find to some it. way to yeah, turn it into a cloak. Oh, all right, you can try. For Sabaric. Maybe before we barter anymore, we I should. I gotta uh... be honest. I, if I was going to be going into possibly testing that could kill me, I probably would have just given it to her since she was with me anyway. That would make sense. Makes sense. You're not. It's not like you're wearing a haversack to lay in the back of a cart. Well, I'm probably naked standing in a room with like twelve people staring at me. No. Um, and actually, maybe we should roleplay that a little bit. So, um, Garrick, um, you're eventually led out of the wagon um, and into kind of like a... Uh, the equivalent of like a medieval sterile environment. Um, the walls are very clean and so is the floor. Um, and there's just sort of like a stone bed-looking thing in the middle. that looks like it might be some sort of operating table. And you're asked to lie down on it. Cool. So I, I, I have given Zoo my uh, handy haversack, but I will keep my sure. weapons with me. Cool. Okay. Am I allowed to follow? No. Or no? Okay. Well, well are you following? Like, you, you can't do both. You can't be following Kirik into his meeting and go out shopping. I wasn't going shopping. I was with Kirik the whole time. I'm just asking, am I allowed to go into the medical room? Because if I'm not, then I'm either just, I'm just waiting outside. Okay. Um, I think that they ask you to wait outside. Okay, well, I've been waiting outside the whole time. I'm just waiting for the group or for them to say that okay. I can go in. Uh, so, Kirik, do you lay down on the table and just fine? And yeah. Get your weapons with you just for funsies. Yep. Well, it might also be the fact that I have two vials of poison in them. Fair enough. 
Um, so eventually No Neck en enters and he's just wearing um, like linen robes at this point rather than armor. I didn't know it was going to be this kind of examination. Well, it's near the end of the day. I don't really like wearing armor when I don't need to. He comes oh, up to you to and understand the joke. He comes up to you and uh, well, it's the wrong universe too. Um, so he comes up to you and he starts like kind of uh, pressing your your collarbone and like just sort of checking you out. Palpating. Yes. He's feeling you up. I explain my symptoms. All of them? Yep. Okay. If he there's looks... someone who can fully help me, it'd be no Nick. He looks pretty alarmed um, and asks to see the spots that you're talking about. I show him. Oh, Are dear. they on your dick? This is, this is more advanced than I feared. Um... Hmm. What else can you tell me? Anything, any other changes? Any progression? Haven't had anything like Jamash, just, uh, just what's been happening. So you no know. wasting of the body, just... Nothing yet. I see. Well, this isn't really um, indicative of <clears throat> what the other people have been seeing, so I don't think you're going to have the same chain of events, if that makes sense. That says it was explained to me by our druid. Uh, maybe he could help me get to the bottom of this. Uh, it might be best for both of us to take a look at you in the morning. Um, hmm. Let me let me take some of these feathers, if you don't mind, and I'll study them tonight. Mm -hmm. If you come back tomorrow with your druid friend, maybe we can come up with something. You don't want me staying here just in case I'm contagious? As best we can tell, the disease isn't contagious by contact or air or really anything other than um, direct drawing of blood. Um, All right. So as long as you don't go around biting anyone or ripping open anyone's jugular with those talons, he smirks. Uh... I mean, I don't know if that was a shot at the guy from Sylvanas or not. Pretty sure that's a shot at the guy <laughs> from Sylvanas. <laughs> Pretty positive of that. That was an accident. I realized that. Yeah, well, unless they deserve it. See ya. See you tomorrow. Get some rest. Can do. Oh, I just saw your note. Sorry. It's okay. If you would do something while they're talking so about that whole process they have. that whole process mm -hmm. maybe took an hour or two and then he comes out and sees xanthum waiting for him hey kirk any good news nope can i have a handy handsack back <laughs> very talkative okay to talk. well um, is there anything that I can help you with? Or do we need any more assistance? I wasn't listening Nothing in on the conversation. Okay. Alright, well, let's go shopping. Always makes people happy. <laughs> Oodles. Okay. Is he not going to say anything about having um, Elephus help at all, or no? That's not my decision. I'm going to go talk to him myself. Oh, we're going okay. to shop therapy. Yeah. Right now we're going doing shop therapy. Consumer therapy. Alright. Oh, yeah. So I'm guessing so that they go out shopping and, and do we find each other? I'm going to guess just... that they run into you when you walk out of the shop. So let's finish up in there and then you guys can bump into okay. each other. Does that sound fair? Right. Yep. And by now you said it's been a couple hours? Yeah, but so is the whole perusing of you guys in the in the shop. So when you so walk out, you'll doing be done. That. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so well there's then... a bunch of armor and shields and weapons that adorn the walls. 
I want to take a look at the gloves that he might have. Um, okay. You find a small line of gauntlets over against one wall. Most of, them, most of them look the same, though. They all just look like your standard, standard gauntlet. leather gauntlet. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to have any potions or anything of the like for sale? No, nothing like that here, I'm afraid. Okay. I do have um I do have a locked gauntlet if that would interest you. A locked gauntlet. You can't get disarmed. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, no, not for me, I don't think. Nobody's disarming these bombs, I say, pulling my jacket aside, showing a gallery of highly the, explosive. The bandolier. Uh, yeah. He he just sort of like takes a step back and says, "Uh, would you mind just don't not not in here." Keep that's in mind why. that we've already freaked this guy out a lot. <laughs> He's yeah, a little that's scared. True. <laughs> that's terrible. Like this is exactly how I want it to go. <laughs> Sorry, cousin Timothy. We've kind of like barged in and like overwhelmed him. We're, we're just being super kind to this guy. And, and gave great advice. You guys are the Sarah worst like fucking totally customers ignored. ever. Yeah. Now he's got oh, like six foot three Could have actually of, uh, attacked him. chainmail to deal with. What now? He's got like six foot three of chainmail to deal with too. Yeah. It's like twice his height. Yeah. Yeah. He, he sort of mail. drug that behind the counter, and you just hear like a clank, or like a series of clanks, I guess, as the rings collapse onto the floor. He just sort of put it behind there because he's got, you know, four people in his shop. I'm looking for maybe ingredients to make some more special arrows. Well, you, you could probably. Oh, you know. Look, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you're fine. Uh, after this, um, I guess we wouldn't do it in the shop. But after this, I think I should enchant uh, Savrick's glaive with uh, hailstorm. Oh, okay. Um, Want to do that? Uh, do you know what it takes to make the durable arrows? Like what material uh, look for? That's normal shit, but I was thinking about some fancier ones. Uh, durable arrows. So do I take the feathers see. that he's molting from? Because I guess he molts. That's not how crafting works. You need cold iron. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. If you go under um, skills slash craft and look at arrow comma durable... There okay. is the, the recipe requires one cold iron plus one mirror. Um, so okay. the cold iron is going to be the thing that you have to find in order to create that. You got any cold iron? Um, you know, let me let me check my books and I'll get back to you on that. Do I don't any... typically carry raw material, but sometimes it gets left here when the smith delivers. Gotcha. Do you have any regular arrows, too, by any chance? You're not here yet. Oh, you're not in there yet. Not? Oh, damn it. Okay, never mind. You meet us outside the shop when we're done, but yep. I think I'm done. Okay. Wait, you're not going to wait for his response? A couple of the um, weapons and armor look like they're a little shinier than one might expect. I mm. am going to, I'm going to take see a if look I at notice. Them. <laughs> notice the shininess. Hey, if you gotta burn a nat one, this is the time to do well, it. That's fair. Um, so Good. Smitty just sort of wa or Cycle just sort of wanders around the shop, um, and stares at the walls, you know, waiting for other people to finish because he's bored. Um, Elithus, you can see a rather interesting looking long sword. I take a look at it, and I try to see if it's magical at all. Um, you're gonna need to do detect magic. If I'm looking for magic, I would always just cast detect magic. Okay, fine. Well, can you tell me about it, so I you, can also roll it? You cast detect magic, and you can tell that several of the weapons on the wall are magic. In fact, they glow rather brightly. 
the one that you're looking at, you can tell is <laughs> is um, engraved with the holy symbol of the god of war, which is Gorum. But I probably don't know what the god of war is unless no. it was taught in history in school yeah. back in. Lyra. Yeah, you can see that it's engraved with the holy symbol of the god of war, um, and you suspect that the long sword is actually made of cold iron. I take a look at it and be like, this longsword looks very interesting, and I think it might even be cold iron. Hey, Cycle, come take a look at this. Um, Zuzu, that's, uh, you can see if you go down to alchemical archery, you can see all the ones that I can make there in the cost. Oh, um, okay, okay. Oh, I see. So you can use that as your, <laughs> excuse me, as your shopping list. Um, okay, I'll take a look at it. There's also a long sword on the wall now that you've cast Detect Magic um, that looks even of better quality than the one that you're holding. Um, with your spellcraft check, um, really the only magical property that you're getting out of this thing is the cold iron, but it does appear to be of masterwork quality. Hmm. This looks like a masterwork longsword made of cold iron. So cold, knowing cold iron, I would know that it would do like cold damage. Um, I guess. So cold iron traditionally is just like a fancy word for um, particularly like steel or something. Okay. It's basically iron, but um, it's like it's mythical because it's supposed to be able to hit like ghosts and shit. Ah, uh, so it'll hit corporeal. Yeah. Things. Okay. Um, this looks pretty fancy. I would say it's worth about. Okay, so the official pretty description fitty. is that it's mined deep underground and known for its effectiveness against fighting demons and fey. It is forged at lower temperatures to pres preserve its delicate properties. Weapons made of cold iron cost twice as much than their normal counterparts. Blah, blah, blah. A weapon. Uh, a double weapon with cold iron costs 50% more than normal. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. So basically, it's more effective against demons and fey. Okay. And how much do I think it's worth? Um, this particular one, you believe, is somewhere in the ballpark of 330 gold. Okay. 330 gold. And the other one I'll look at. Um. Hmm. Uh, you Worth. think that this longsword might actually be cursed. <laughs> okay. Uh, don't buy this one. Dude, you got a cursed longs- well, Wait, didn't he mention that one, like, looked nicer, though? Mm -hmm. Just a minute ago? Um, so I'm gonna also roll spellcraft, because he now thinks it's cursed, and I was like, Wait, didn't you say it looked nicer? Than hey, look one? at this, man. It looks cursed. Hmm. I didn't get any of that. So Cycle thinks that this this long sword will probably compel people to use it um, as part of its curse, and that um, in doing so they won't be able to hold anything else in their hands. Elithus, on the other hand, um, believes this to be a simple plus two long sword. Oh, that's savage! Just like standing there, just staring at a wall. Like, hmm. I'm looking at myself in a mirror. See if it makes me look a little slimmer. <laughs> oh, yeah. He did just get a fancy new piece of armor, so I can yeah, totally see him. See, he's totally primping now. Um, I look at Cycle and I was like, okay, that doesn't look like a curse to me. I, I think you might have gotten that. Maybe a little wrong, but I mean, you do say it compels you to use it, so maybe the curse is just affecting me. Hard to say. Listen, uh, no offense, Elethys, but I'm clearly the better spellcrafter here, so. Let's just uh, let's just defer to my to my uh, obvious experience and expertise. Well, I don't really care about the longsword, but we do have a buddy over there that we're about to try to get to introduce us to his monster hunter friends. Well, I don't think this one's worth anything. So I think if he wants it, if he wants one, we should get him that masterwork one for three hundred thirty gold, or that's worth about three hundred thirty, if you ask me. Okay. Hey, Sarek. Yo. 
there's this fancy sword on the wall. It's uh Ah oh, neat. I just and it up. as you pick it up, you notice on the wall behind them a long sword that looks very interesting. It has multiple hooks, barbs, and serrated edges. Whoa. A third sword? Yes. Did oh, he wow. did he detect magic on it? Well, detect um, magic is running. So. Neither of you. Oh, well, okay. detect magic requires concentration. So you guys okay. concentrated, but you didn't see that particular sword. Okay. Well, now we're looking at that particular sword. So I will recast detect magic and spell okay. that shit. You do that. <laughs> um, so, Elethus, you know that the sword has a relatively strong evocation aura coming from it, um, and you think it might be a very particular magic weapon, but you're unsure of its properties. Cycle, on the other hand, knows that this particular weapon is called Shatter Spike. Um, and it is a rather intimidating weapon that appears to be a long sword, but it has multiple hooks, barbs, and serrations along the blade. Excellent for catching and sundering a foe's weapon. Wielders without improved sunder use the f um, without the improved sunder feat use shatter spike as a plus one long sword only. Wielders with improved sunder instead use shatter spike as a plus four long sword when attempting to sunder an opponent's weapon. Shatter spike can damage weapons with an enhancement bonus of plus four or lower. So for all intents and purposes, it's a plus one longsword unless you have improved sunder. Does Savrik have improved sunder? Probably not. No. I share all that information with Savrik. A little gaudy for my taste. I like this one. But it does look sexy. I, okay. I, okay. Handle the one that Cycle thinks curse, and I swing it a couple times. Probably to the uh, distaste of the shop owner. I dive to side. Oh my god! He's gonna kill, kill us me. all! And then I just stare at him while he just He's like to tests murder. it around. So He's, while you're swinging, must be murdering the air particles. The dwarf walks over to you and says, "Okay, if you're gonna swing that, could you at least like hit the post?" And he points. There's like a wooden post that's got some. Um, some score marks in it from where people have like done slight test hits. Yeah, I'll do that. It says thank you very much. So you strike the post um, rather hard, and you slice off part of the the post itself, but it's completely silent when you do so. Almost eerily so. Ooh, yeah. That's cool, I say. I climb up to my feet and dust myself off. Yeah, that seems... Uh... <clears throat> yeah, that, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a good one. Not cursed, like just like I thought. Not No curse. Called it. I, I sort of... Uh... Jesus Christ. Oh no! I don't so, think we have all that gold together. Yeah, no, we have we have the thing. Just dip into the well, or the the coffer. So I looked up Shatter Spike on Google, and uh, the first image it comes up with is uh, My Little Pony fan art. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> so I said, "Oh no." Um, and while this whole thing is going on, Elethus, you notice a scythe um, on the wall. I inspect the scythe. God damn right, it, well, like, he's first. rolling to like 18 and then 2, or 18 and then 4. <laughs> it's like this stupid freaking... Oh, you're, what are you inspecting? The scythe on the wall. Oh. I'll join. <laughs> Cycle. Um, once Man, again, showing up Elethus. Um, Cycle believes that this is a... Plus one invigorating scythe, and What's he knows that invigorating. Um, after every after an attack with his weapon, drops a living foe, kills it, or drops it to negative hit points. 
The weapon infuses its wielder with vigor. The, if the wielder is fatigued, the weapon removes the fatigue. If exhausted, the wielder becomes fatigued instead. If neither exhausted nor fatigued, the wielder gains a plus two morale bonus on attack rolls and a plus 10, a plus 10 foot enhancement bonus on all modes of movement speed possessed until the end of the wielder's next turn. That's pretty cool. I like that little, little bonus. That's cool. I don't kill a lot of people, and if I do, I'm going to use my whip. Don't think it's for me. Fair enough. Also, I don't know if I could even carry a scythe, to be honest. Morky, oh, uh, I can't talk to Morky. He's in me right now. I mean, you could totally talk to Morky. He's on your shoulder. Right That's now. true. No, he's in. It's like he's regressed into me. There would be no point. I don't think it would be wise to have it a, a tumor monkey sitting on my shoulder when we walk into Ergonost. Okay. Blowing up my spot. Does anybody wear studded leather armor by chance? Um, good question. I don't need it. I got leaf armor. Ah, uh, yeah, because you were a rich prick in the beginning of the game. Mm-hmm. Masterwork leaf armor, bitch. I wear... Masterwork padded armor. Plus guilt. Okay. Studded leather was too heavy, I believe. Ah, uh, that'll do it. Alright then. You don't really see anything else of interest as far as armor is concerned. Um, can you use short spears? Probably not. That's kind of Me? a fun one, though. Yeah. I probably won't use weapons ever, really. I have my whip, and other than that, I... Are you, are you sure that you can't use short spears? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the spear oh, I would use. Cool. God damn. That'd be One so One second, cool. let me see if I can use short spears. Worst comes worst, I can just, like, tie it to Harmony's stem, and then pull it off on any... <laughs> <laughs> One sec. I think you should just like whip people to death with the rat spear and then just stab all the rats with the short spear. <laughs> or with the whip and then the short spear. He's turned them into tons of little Fear me for I am Elithis, transformer of life. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Club, dagger, dart, quarterstaff, scimitar, scythe, sickle, short spear, sling, and spear. Yep, you can use short spears. I All can right. totally use short spears. Give me a roll so, to see if you know what this does. You murder our enemies, turn them into rats, and then execute the rats into flower petals while I'm drinking their blood and trying to learn their spells. I think we might be evil. <laughs> <laughs> I restore everything to nature in its purest form. It's true. I just you noticed that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I have no idea what this is. You're pretty sure it's cursed. You're fairly sure that it's cursed and will actually turn you into a pile of flower petals if you use it to attack someone. I don't so, really uh, like this. So what's this... the deal with this shop? Is it... Are you the devil? What do you mean? That was... That was a Rick and Morty reference. Oh. There was a the devil that, so, that uh, sold only cursed items. Oh, Rick and Morty. Uh, Rick and Morty. Yeah. 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 Well, I I noticed the short spear and I ask Elith or Psycho what he thinks and well I'm like I'm positive what? this is cursed but he he's been like identifying what everything better fuck? than me so I, I well, lean to his it's opinion. definitely Except not cursed. You know, you know that I predicted a cursed blade which you knew was not. <laughs> Saverick is swinging at a post right now with no ill effects so. You you know that I don't get it right every time. Well, I know you don't get it right every time, but so far you've gotten more things right than me. So I, I still lean to your opinion in this shop. It's true. Okay, um, so you know that this is a plus one guardian short spear that, for some reason or another, turns its slain victims into flower petals. Are you adding these things just for shits and giggles because you know Alephus would like it? Uh, no, this is 100% from the random generator for Magic Shops. That's awesome. I like that a lot. I, I like... Yeah, that's, 
That's amazing. I love that it's all random and not just stuff DARP came up with, because it just adds a whole element to it. Oh, I... shit, I forgot to tell you part of Shatter Spike from earlier. Um, it's a special version of Shadow, Sp Shadow Spike, or Shatter Spike, that says, Foes slain by this weapon dissolve into a pool of blood. Dude, that fucking cool, man. I want that. I mean, I don't want it, but I think Savrick should get it. <laughs> but I guess there's no point, really. Uh, he can't use the... He can't use the special on it. The special, yeah. Oh, that would be cool. Well, hopefully we'll find more items that turn our victims into creative things uh, yeah. that I can use. Or drink. Or smoke. Or something. Okay. I look, look at the spear, and I'm like, I really, really want that. And then I look at my money, which is nowhere near its... Well, actually, I don't know what it costs. Um, so, hey, Cycle, how much does that, that, that spear cost? The shopkeep notes, notices you looking at it, um, and he comes over. Cycle, you believe it's probably worth anywhere between... Tree fee. You believe it's worth anywhere between eight grand and nine grand. Whew, too rich for our blood. We need to we need to go bury some more uh, holy people <laughs> under rocks and shit. That. Yep. The shopkeep comes over and says, "Ah, yes, a fine spear. I are you interested? Uh, I love items that turn dead things into natural things. Um, I kind of have a collection of them myself when I show him my whip. Oh, oh, it has it has those properties." Um, what kind of shop are you running that you don't know what you're selling? He's well, about your whip. the blacksmiths just bring me items. I just sell them for the prices that they give me. I don't necessarily know magic. Hmm. I'll My give faith. you 500 for this sword right now. <laughs> Cash money. <laughs> 500 Cash for money the plus the two long sword. <laughs> Are you lying yeah, about paying him five hundred? I think what trying we to convince him that's a fair price. That none of us know what our roles are for. <laughs> Anyways, um, he just sort of frowns at you and says, "That's probably one of the finest pieces here. I will not part with it for anything below eight thousand. Listen, I'll throw another five hundred on top of that. Cash money in your pocket right now. Yep, it can that settle your shell him. forever." Or if you go with me. Yeah, look how good I am at climbing. <laughs> I can totally... <laughs> <laughs> Cycle cl starts climbing the walls of the shop. Yeah, oh my God. God. start climbing shelves. Check it out. In all fairness, Bluff and Climber are right next to each money. other. Listen up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait, that's 700 not what... and I'll throw in this sword. My masterwork. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I can't. I cannot make that trade. Another 800 on top, and I'll throw in the druid. Can I, can I <laughs> add my bluff to that? <laughs> the bluff wouldn't help with this anyway. I don't know that. I think Darp basically told you that like yeah, times. Yeah, well, oh. if he's trying to convince, convince him that that's a good price, well, I mean... Sorry, he could use it, maybe use the bluff check on his sword to convince him that the sword he owns now is of higher value. And this yeah. guy just told us. It's the way, us, it's no the way you're about. phrasing it. Because you're like, I'll offer you 500 gold, right. bluff check. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> this yeah. is what? This is meta, me suggesting that maybe if he were going to use a bluff check, use it on... Uh, use it on trying to convince him that your, the sword you have now has magical properties. Because he just said that he doesn't, he doesn't know anything about it. But you guys, the question would is, would the good sword, characters yeah. in the room allow that to go down? Uh, you Are mean there any good characters this? in here? Nope. I don't know What's, what yeah. I'm doing, but I'm not What's there. What's Um. Well, you guys interrupted me, and I'm just sitting there shaking my head while you guys are debating the sword and trying to, like, scam this guy out of his No, I mean, sword. what alignment are you? Oh, I'm new true neutral. I really don't care what you guys are doing. There you go. Yeah, me too. Oh, so wow. Am I. Okay, so then. we can take them. Well, I mean. 
Are you trying to convince him that your weapon's worth more than it is? I'm not interested in that. I could offer my services as a professional monster. What I'm saying is, if you convinced him that your weapon was worth more than it is, you could use that to barter better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, fuck it. No. Not interested. Yeah, a little better each time. I, I, uh... I mean, this is a pretty good sword, dude. Um, I mean... I'm not making a massive improvement here. Well, how much do you think it's uh, worth? Mine? Oh, I'd say easily 7300. Listen, this this sword that my buddy's got here, it's got plus 10 business synergy and <laughs> plus 5 um drive um, off uh drive off shoplifters. Yeah. Oh my. Yep. It's plus five strategic direction, which is great if you're running like a nonprofit or something. Yeah. You guys are fucking terrible. <laughs> I know. It's just like. He believes you. Plus 10 to entrepreneurship. Yeah. He believes you and he offers you seven grand for the sword that you have. Yeah. I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> fucking do it. Take it. It's a deal. I respect a uh, a smart businessman. I think he might have made a customer for life. And with my <laughs> so, contacts, and I, I pull out my... So uh, he's still going to require, for like the trade-in, he's giving you seven grand, so he's still going to require 1.5. Okay. Do you have I that? I personally have... Um, not that much. I'll, okay. I'll pay the 1.5 I... and then just get the rest out of the coffer when we get it. Yeah, I was going to say, we need to make this I personally happen, because this is OP. Uh, <laughs> like, this is stupid. Okay. I cover whatever you have left. And Another we'll, just get, we'll just get some out of the coffer when we find the You guys are killer. fucking dickholes, and when this, guy, this... when this guy tells the people that he works for about the trade, bad things. <laughs> He sh he shouldn't do that. He kind he kind of seems like a, a like, like a stupid person. He is. Yeah, I don't feel bad then. Oh my god, you guys. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Happy shopping. Wow. Realizing that my party doesn't have a lot of gold, and uh, after. Knowing the worth, or assuming the worth of the spear that I want to be more than I currently have, I, I just pay the guy whatever we need. Seven for... fifty, right? Yeah, it's fifteen hundred on top, and Se he did seven fifty. Does, does his seven fifty. I give him the rest of the seven fifty, and we get that awesome oh. sword for Zavrik. So I keep a straight face, and then I guess we leave. Yep. Walk out. And then you run into. And as soon as we get outside, I fucking bust d die laughing <laughs> and fucking hold out high fives for both of them so xanthem when you approach with Kirik, um you can see them all celebrating outside the shop i, I don't know if you guys What's realize up, what happened right there we just like like he just we just bluffed a shopkeeper out of a fucking epic sword Pretty much is what happened. Yeah. Well, I I, I nudge like I nudge you guys. Boss, I, like... I'm guess well, actually I guess I should roll to see if I see. Ah, oh, fuck everything. One second. I'm gonna what? see if I s notice Xanthem approaching. Oh yeah. Yep. Since she's idea. not concealing her approach, she definitely do. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm checking to case, see if she looks pissy. I nudge I nudge Cycle and Savage and be like, hey, um, we probably shouldn't mention that we. Eat scammed that guy that's i agree mum's the word what god damn it if i can keep misclicking on shit now my computer's going crazy oh, four is activated. so what? as you I get know, a little dude. closer to anthem you notice right that they like sort of they see you and they all stop laughing like almost immediately i i I go, hey, I say, hey, Xanthem, look at my breastplate. 
Yeah, yeah. Sorry, they didn't have any ass plates. So, uh, I mean, I'm still prime real estate back there. <laughs> you should get a pair of pants that just have a little target painted on them. Yeah. Just a troller. I'll just find some paint and just, like, paint my ass cheeks baboon red. You should go into battle with like your your full fucking chainmail armor, epic sword, like like greaves going down your legs, and just a bare ass and dick flapping. <laughs> uh. You're trying to enter the dungeon of sluttiness, then. Dude, I've been reading the Ogloff comics all I'd week. Be fucking hilarious. They're the best. You're so funny. Fucking, it's like, you, you really think your slutty armor is better than mine? He clicks on the dick part and just the testicle and go bloop <laughs> down the side. She's like, that's pretty hot, actually. <laughs> I love that. I just watched that one today, or read that one today. It's a shit. The dude's where the, the dude has like uh they're in like, I don't know, the cult of sluttiness or some shit, and he's got like a cock piece of armor, like like shaped like oh, a God. dick. <laughs> And he clicks the tip. The girl is telling him like, she did, like she's like you. You don't fucking know anything about this. And he just clicks the tip of his penis, and the the armor around the balls just flaps away. So he's got bare nuts. She's like, all right, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, <laughs> they gotta breathe, don't they? I can only imagine if they were stuck in a tiny little fucking like metal part. Ugh. Uh, so I see they you guys are laughing, and you basting. stopped. Mm-hmm. We just got this Why? awesome chest plate for Saturday, and it was an amazing deal. Oh. I told him a joke about this this uh, griffin I killed. You killed a griffin. I um... climbed so impressively that he just he had to give it to us. It was so amazing how I climbed in there. It was like it was hard. Wow. <laughs> she believes me. Yeah, that's impressive. She likes, likes the chest plate. I love the chest plate. It looks very good on him. We're all... Right? We're all... It's a nice wow. slimming effect. Why are we are all bluffing? Show, show, uh, show her how fast you can take it off, Zabrik. I, I give him a wink. Oh my god. <laughs> I just, like, flash my arms to the side and both halves of it just pop off. <sighs> That's <laughs> amazing. Oh, now it's dirty. I'm so impressed. Now Did you get dirty. anything else while you were out shopping? Nope. No? Um, hmm. <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Sense motive, Zuzu. Oh, okay. All sense motive Getting is there. live. I won't get it, though. I'm gonna needlessly freak out elephants. Just to ruin his day. <laughs> nope. You believe him. You don't think they bought anything else. You didn't buy anything else. Okay, wow. Well, you guys are in there a long time just for that breastplate. I'm impressed. Kurt, yeah. what do you well, think? Does it look good on him? I had to get the right one. I mean, it's it's a, it's important to get, you know, the right fit. And you saw how bulky that stuff I was wearing. You know. I mean, Not gonna impress yeah. any monster slayers with that ugly shit. Yeah. The pedestrian chainmail. Well, well, however, we're out. we roll up in there with a nice, a nice slim fit V neck piece of chain mail and a fucking Hydra head and a monster skull. We're, we're mm -hmm. doing work. They're like, yep. oh shit. Plus, a sword. I mean, not a not nothing else. Yep. yep. But monster heads, that's pretty dope. But nothing else. Okay. Well, I will. While we're out, I should get some arrows to. So yeah, that'd be great. What kind of arrows things. do you want to get? I think there's lots of kinds of arrows in the world that you you'd be really interested in. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, the durable see, kind, the slow burn kind, bleeding kinds, the sharp kind, um, uh, business arrows. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You can... Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to make arrows, arrows that are called business arrows now, and they just, like, <laughs> sing the word synergy as they fly through the air. <laughs> oh my god, I want that. They just make fucking the S business sound. jargon. They're acting suspicious, but I don't notice it. Okay. Nope. Alright, guys, where should we go buy some arrows? Oh, thank so we can god. Craft yep. them. 
That's Thank probably God, the most words you... that I've ever said to you at once. Zuzu, just be happy that you're really bad at sensing our motives because otherwise you'd be looking at a shitload of fine yet rustic architecture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Them good characters. But I feel like once I find out, won't I get more upset? If you find out. So it's how are they going to use a really business. cool weapon without me knowing? It just looks like a longsword to you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Damn it. All right. All right, let's go buy some arrows so we can craft them. I only have four arrows. It's the okay. cold iron, iron that we need, but yeah, also that. I mean, I can craft the other stuff easy. Uh, oh, it's only you... cold. Only, yeah, all the other ingredients I can get for basically free. It's included in like one gold price for durable arrows. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know if like you had to get normal arrows to craft arrows. No, I just no. need the um, cold yeah. iron. And the myrrh? Yeah. yeah, the myrrhs assume to be part of the components that you're buying with gold. Okay. Well, in that case, all we really need... I got I got plenty of myrrh. I met this uh, one of these kings, and he was traveling a, a while to meet oh up with God. two other kings. and So I got a shitload of myrrh. I don't know what the hell this shit's for, but making durable arrows. Jews. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, uh, I roll perception to... Uh... To see if I notice Elethus and Carrick walk off. No, well, we didn't exactly. Uh, it I wasn't did. secretive. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No. So you well, know, you know, we so they walked away. Busy. Well, I mean, we were, you know, lying our asses off. I just wanted to, you know. Um, I, I look at uh, Cycle and uh, I say, it, "It's, it's worse than I thought it was, isn't it?" Yeah. Sound, sounds like it might actually be. And he's not letting in on how bad it is. What a shithead of a brother. Because I care about him. Care about him so much. Focus on those feelings a lot. Describe them to me in intense detail. <laughs> They're like your liquid pee diarrhea. Yep. Most of yeah. my pee is liquid. Most of it's not <laughs> diarrhea. Most of it? Well, I have, it's like 99.999%. Okay. <laughs> Unlike so, last week. Most of the things the... that I have ever peed have been liquid. That's good. <laughs> I should pee out kidney stones. Those hurt. Oh, god damn it. Damn the... <laughs> 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 Let's take it to a gross place. <laughs> that is her MO. All I'm right. going to jump in the pool. I'm going to hit bottom. Don't tell them. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> 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 okay, so durable arrows, and then um, I, lo I was looking at the other ones. And I think Go one wash my... up, dirty bird. Yeah. Well, I'm not the dirty bird. That's my brother. Anywho. <laughs> Who, not me, cut the cheese. Can we make other arrows besides zero arrows, or do you think zero arrows yeah. are all I should make? Those are the big ones, but I'm looking at um, the other ones now. There's like pheromone arrow, but that doesn't look like it's like hugely useful. No. Um, I tried avoiding all the ones that don't do any damage. Raining arrow, we've yeah. used that before, and that's a mm -hmm. that's another um, good one. Good one against like uh, undead. Slow burn is pretty cool. Yeah, um, slow burn's awesome. Yeah, and I can make that. I don't even have to roll for that. I need uh, magnesium, myrrh, and phosphorus. Is that? It says it says uh, magnesium, myrrh, and phosphorus slash con congelation. Is that like a different? Oh, I guess. Congelation. Yeah. <laughs> Cunnilingus arrows. Uh, I, I feel like I would specialize in them. That's just telling you that you, you need to congeal the them back. together. That's a shit ton of magnesium and myrrh, though. Splinter oh, that's probably why it's 100 gold. Okay. 
Yeah. Also, this the splinter arrow. cloud looks yeah. really cool. That looks pretty dope, actually. Burst yeah. of razor shard, bone shard, center on the target. These shards deal 1d3 points of piercing damage to the target and any creature adjacent to the target. So Which if you're is launching awesome. a volley of six of them as a full round action, that's, that's going to do badass. damage. That's 25 gold apiece. And these would not be durable. Um, they'd mm. be one one use. So this is up to you. Tangle shot arrow, that's pretty cool. I've used that before. It just explodes like a, um, like a tangle tar bomb. Bag. Yeah, mm -hmm. just like a tangle foot bag. It's basically like me throwing a tangle foot bag, except she would shoot it and she can shoot it way further. Right. Similar. Uh, so it's not quite the same. Yeah, that's still good. Might want to make a couple of them. Agreed. 18 mer, 26 urea. Yeah, and then uh, just calculate how many you want of each one and, uh, you know, pay the gold for it and I'll craft them. Okay, sounds good. Alright. Might take me a slight bit. Sure. I feel like we're probably winding down to that stage of... Uh, yeah. It's like 11.16. and Kirik. Return to the group, probably, at this point. Okay. Yep. And for reference, Darp. Thank you, sir. That's what went down. Oh, shit. I meant to do something in the... <laughs> I, I, I meant to, as we were leaving the shop, I was just going to have Morky... I was going to go... And Morky would just sprout out of my shoulder. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, man. See ya. And then just walk out. <laughs> Dwarf. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be fucking traumatized for life. Yeah, we're gonna come back. He's gonna be in stocks or some shit. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we are the evil ones. Just using Kay. our god given talents to uh succeed. Um anyway. is there could I ask around to see if there's like a potion and or scroll shop nearby that I might be interested in? Uh, sure. Or, well, we could do that, or I could also just charm, um, Saffric's sword. You could do both. Storm. I could do both. If I just mean what to do with the remaining ten charm? minutes or whatever. Not charm, um, enchant oh, it, whatever oh, yeah. it is with yeah, yeah, the hailstorm yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. Whoosh. See if we can make this fancy sword even fancier. Silent draw. Yeah, we could do that as conclusion and then pick up with the rest of the shopping next week. Okay. Oh, actually, uh, Doll, you said you might not make it next week? Um, I might not. I'll be in Orlando, or I'll be flying to Orlando. I know, dude. It's it's open right now. Um, I know. And uh, I will have my tablet with me, uh, but it's going to depend on how good the internet connection is while I'm down there. Okay. And if I'm there, I won't be able to have my character sheet open, but I, I can, I guess, have Roll20 open, so we can probably probably make it work for the most well, part. Well, your character sheet's in Google Drive, too. Or should be. Right. What I mean is I, I won't have my um, my Excel sheet. Right. That's fine. So, let's do some Hailstorm enchantment and see if we can't make... Savrick, a complete badass. How long does the enchantment last? Three days. Three days. Three days. Don't worry, uh, Kirik, you're next on the list. I'm going to point out that we are going to spend basically the next four days traveling. But, I mean, it's still useful, but... Yeah, we might hold off on putting that enchantment yeah. on until we actually leave. Well, I can do it again and once it wears off. Mm -hmm. That's fair. If we encounter some shit on the road... Wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Very true. Ignore my previous statement. So we're doing weapon ability? Yep. Okay. What do I roll? One a D one hundred? Uh yeah, three D one hundreds. Oh okay. No, that's fine, that'll work. Sixty nine. That's a good number. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, that one is going to be 
my medic, whatever that is. Makes you really good at memes. Each time the wielder damages a creature using my medic weapon, he gains resistance 10 to one energy type that the creature is resistant to or immune to for one round. Oh, that's awesome. If the creature has multiple types of resistance, the wielder chooses the resistance type to take. This resistance stacks with itself to a maximum of 30 points. Interesting. Dude, that's fucking badass, because basically, mm -hmm. whatever we're fighting, it's going to be resistant to whatever it's using on us, so you can just take its resistance. Well, you're resistant to whatever it's resistant to, so it's not necessarily what it's using to attack you, but yes, it could oh. be very useful. Um, Valiant is specific to Cavaliers, so that's probably not going to be any good for you. That's the 97. Um, 29. It's going to be Flaming, which is what it sounds oh. like. Ballin. Uh, upon command, Silent a Flaming flames. weapon is sheathed in fire that deals an extra 1d6 of fire damage on a successful hit. Yeah, dude. Uh, well, he gets to pick, right? Um, you get to pick, but he could oh. influence your choice. Uh, so what do you want, man? You want the you want the mimey one, or you want the flamey sword? I agree, flamey mm. sword. It is flamey sword. Yeah, burn them, motherfuckers! <laughs> All right, Oof. so we just turned Savrick in. Fucking like in an he's, hour into he's like a beast fucking mode. Beast. Yeah, yeah. We just power leveled him, basically. Nah, you just twink armored him. He didn't level. Twink armor. That is uh much more accurate. Well, I think that about wraps up for me. Yeah, because you want to play Fallout. I get you. Mm -hmm. You're fine. Everybody it's just unpacking! I have an erection! That was awesome.